Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla. Welcome to 2023. We're doing Resident Evil 1 again. First stream of the year. First game, not first game. First game that made me a game. I, I'm gonna say that. I don't know. That's not true, probably. But here we are. Hello there. Good to see you. David. Trojeće, brate, pa dobro da te vidim. Stvarno mi je, stvarno mi je drago. Sad sam rekao engleski po srpski, ali razumeo si što ću da kažem. <laughs> Zdravo, Grzo. <laughs> Grzo, I, I, I'm never sure how, how far I can, <laughs> I can take Serbian before you stop understanding. So, good to see you. Welcome, everyone. So, I did this wrong. I don't know if we talked about this. I was too busy doing a Chrono Cross. And uh, we finished the... <laughs> The Chris run, I went straight to RE2. I love RE2, especially on the N64. And then somewhere through this, I was like, wait a minute, I'm missing something. Because I'm planning RE1 remake, so I'm like, I'm going to do it with Jill and Chris. But I didn't do Chris originally. So here we are, we're going to do that. And um, and then we're going to move on with Code Veronica for the Sega Dreamcast, I hope, David. I ha still haven't tested that. Uh, so far on the schedule, it's going to be the Dreamcast version. We have, I think, at least three versions, or, not, or maybe even four. I don't know if we have a PS2 version. But yeah, we have plenty of Code Veronica in case something goes wrong. So we're good with that. Um, the new Saturn. Well, the new. David, uh, David <laughs> changed the laser. Uh, the whole laser... What do you even call that? Fucking carrier? No, the not the lens. Just the whole laser machinery. In this, this, uh, this is a Model 2 Saturn, right, David? I'm not clear which is which. Because it says MK something 802 behind, I'm just guessing it's a uh, Model 2. Laser assembly. That's the word I was looking at, assembly. <laughs> and uh, thank you, David. And uh, it loads instantly. You can hear, you can't hear it now. I can hear the laser doing like that. Like the old CD lasers, the higher powered ones, did that hissing sound. Means it's, it's loading it's doing it 100%. Loads everything except for that biohazard Japanese version uh, computer room, which made us think it's uh, somewhere in the, the that the disc is damaged and it's not the console. Well, it is a console at least a bit, but more most of it is the is the disc. Okay, Grzo, does nam does nam <laughs> Resident Evil is always good. Zdravo, zdravo Eko, zdravo Dečice, srećni praznici. Nina and Gagi are too, right? Zdravo, zdravo. Hello, Brown. Hello. Yeah, we got people. We got Serbian speakers here. We got English speakers. We got multilingual people. We got everything. <laughs> it means hi, hello, in most Slavic languages. I know it's in Serbian, Bosnian, Macedonian, Croatian, Montenegrin, possibly all the way to Russia. I don't know. Hola, hola, senor. Wait, I don't know how far that... So we're doing this as it's as is customs on this Hip Tesla channel, which is me, I'm Hip Tesla. <laughs> it's We're doing it on an actual Sega Saturn. Uh, where's the camera? Here. Actual Sega Saturn. The, 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 the real... You can even see a little, yeah, you can see a bit... Art. See those lines that are popping all over this, uh, the, the, the video? That's actually the... Why? What, what is wrong with me? Smetnia. Not malfunction, but more like... That's, uh, it's noise, let's say, it's noise coming from the laser assembly actually pulsating electromagnetic waves. So there you go, science in a console. <laughs> zdravo, Brown, zdravo. Yeah, here we go, Gerza. Um, Gerza <laughs> spreading the Serbian here. <laughs> so here we go. Another thing we didn't do after we finished it originally, there's a battle game here, which I can't wait to try. I've never played this. Uh, I'm, I'm Two battle games I'm really looking forward to is this one, which I never played, and the Resident Evil Zero Leech Hunter, because for some reason this year I started liking that. Last year, but yeah. Battle game is a Saturn exclusive arcade. -y. It's like Mercenaries 1.0, the first idea of Mercenaries. You go from room to room, you kill, you gotta kill all enemies, and the game just pushes you into the next room. We're not doing that tonight. We will do it. I can't wait. But tonight we're going with Chris's toy. No, oh, that's... Yeah, it, 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 so A is a select on the main menu. As soon as you pass the main menu, B is select because the Western, Western uh, publishers in the 90s, <laughs> it was, a, it was wild here. So yeah, A. Resident Evil. Ooh, I love that. That's my favorite announcer. So sexy. All right, and we're doing Chris Redfield. A23 and 
738. Are you ready? Here we go. B. Nope. B is still back until we pass this point. Okay. Here we go. Take three. <laughs> A. Take four. No, this is take three. Now it's A back, I think. Now if I press A, it'll bring me back. That's so weird. I don't know why. So now B is confirmed. Somebody had somebody had a bad day when they were porting this. And like A, B, pff, who cares? Maybe they were a Nintendo gamer, so they thought, oh, B comes before A. Hello, Delmar. Hello. <laughs> Jill, of course, yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, Delmar. Happy holidays. You like Jill, huh? I mean, as a as a Resident Evil character. <laughs> so, is it A now? Resident it is A. Evil. Okay, we'll get there, folks. We'll get once we're past the title screen, it'll all be good. <laughs> Show me the crazy. So now, you know what? Start. That, that always works. Start. You can never go wrong with start. I should have read I, one one day I'll read from the instruction manual for this game because for some reason this is the coolest Resident Evil instruction manual the the PlayStation and the PC version at least as far as I remember PC version didn't have these quips 90s quips <laughs> Alpha team is flying around the forest can we hear the game in Northwest Raccoon City where we're searching for the Whoa, helicopter of our here. compatriots Bravo team who disappeared during the middle of our mission It's not transparent. Huh? Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims Horror in Raccoon. More victims dead. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Here we go on the map. There's nothing around us, and here we are. Oh, Chris? Fucking campers making <laughs> campfire in the forest at night. Because it's black and white, it just somehow transfers cold. I don't know what it is. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. It's weird for these games. I swear they... It, it's got... Maybe it's not weird. When they ported Resident Evil 1 and 2 uh, to other systems, Sega, Saturn, Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, they always added something. I like that. There were never identical versions. That's supposed to be a dog. Still, I I'll say this every time. Most of my life I thought those were crocodiles for some reason. They just look like fucking crocodiles. Look at that jaw. What kind of Doberman? What did they feed the Doberman that has that jaw? <laughs> never gets old. <laughs> It's the, it's something in the movement of her mouth. No, don't go. Yeah, you'll see things that are unique to this version. Oh, David, also, I'm, I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna show you that something I just figured out today, David, when, uh, when I was getting ready. So I'm not sure. They say Saturn doesn't have transparency. Okay, I just actually realized what it is. How you could fake transparency on the Saturn. So Sega Saturn was not made to be a 3D console. It was made to push sprites, not polygons. And then when Sony fucked... Well, Nintendo also fucked their plans with the 3D console. They were like, oh shit, we just make it do 3D. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Yeah, this part is absent on the Jill scenario. Chris Redfield. <laughs> That's so lame. Fucking, we couldn't show him light a cigarette. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's that guy. <laughs> Oh my god, that voice. So yeah, here, I'll show you something, David, for a second. Once they enter, I'm gonna brighten it a bit, unnaturally. You can see the laser loading. 
Oh, actually, after the loads, we don't want it. Yep. Man, the laser sounds so healthy. Doing zap, zap. Pay attention now. See that the bars are actually transparent? I don't know what happened. You can see Jill's legs and whiskers through it. Barry, where's Barry? You can well, see that, I'm right? Sorry. Yeah, you can see it on I mean, the stream. Probably. You can see through it. No. Through the back black bars that made it white screen, right? What is that? I'll go and check. Yeah, you can now. But when okay. one, once Jill they enter, I that's where I. Hall in case of an emergency. Yeah. Now Saren does cannot make things opaque, Chris? you know, transparent. So Take it used. Care. Technique known as dithering, which is every <clears throat> every second pixel is not drawn. When you zoom it out, it's like a grid, so it looks like uh, it looks transparent, but it's not. We'll see it here with smoke and other stuff, because on the modern on modern progressive screens, it's easy to see this. It wasn't so easy to see on the on CRTs. Yeah, look at it here. Oh, yeah. There's no berry. Yep, that's with Jill. Never mind. I tested it with Jill, but yeah. You get, you get the, just, oh, and this is scary for me. So, <clears throat> people who have been watching me for a while know I've played Chris' game, I think, or on the original, maybe twice, and on the remake, maybe twice, in all the years. So, this is going to be a little challenging, at least I think that, because, for fuck's sake, the man only has six slots in his star's uniform. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, that never... I don't care how much you want to add challenge and make it horror. Just don't do it that way. Like if they ripped his uh, pants or something in the forest, you know, like they ripped his pockets, I could get it. But you can't put six things in your pocket. I can put six things in my like in my home. I have a cat in my lap. Yeah, that's why I'm looking down in my uh, sweatshirt. So you know what? That knife. Never mind. We're never gonna use it. I don't know how to knife an re one. This is not outbreak. <laughs> Is that right, kitty? You want to lie down? Here, I'll, I'll make it easy for you. There you go. Welcome. Brr. All right. So A is run, B is... I swear these, these publishers were sadistic in the 90s. Or, or they just didn't know what they were doing. It was a new, new thing. Yeah, so... Sexy Wesky, Professor Wesker, he beats these games, this remake, two, three, I, I don't know about three, but I know the, he does these, like, one, remake of one, and I'm pretty sure two. He beats them with a knife, just like that. I said, when I have the time one day, I'll just, can I avoid this guy now? Nah. I'll try to, um, you know, when I'm not working <laughs> during his stream, I want to see how he does it. Asking questions live. Why this like that? Why that like this? You good, kitty? Can you lie down? I'm trying to survive a biohazard here. Kitty? Yes, the match. Cables, Kitty, I know. Wesker? Jill? What happened to Jill and Wesker? Where could they be? <laughs> How did they get here? It's Jill's gun. <gasps> Alright, we got a gun. Yes, I would be crazy not to take it. So there's this. It, it's different. I know there's no berry. Should I even go to that guy? I think there's gonna be a clip there. You know what? It's trial and error time. Let's go. Charge! Look at him charging. You the man, Chris. Keep charging. Is there an ink ribbon here? Did we leave that? Or we're like, fuck you, Chris. Ah, there you go. Okay, I'm not gonna pick it up yet. I need. Oh, I need the box badly. Can I beat this without using an F8 spray? We'll find out.
damn. Oof. Is it even worth it? I guess you can kill one zombie for with seven bullets and then get... Uh, do I have it? Yeah. And then get like 15 more bullets. That's if there's ammo behind on Kenneth. Kenneth, did you die with some ammo on you? I might be able even to... Is he here? Yep, there is. I might be able to do this without even killing him. Let's try. I mean, it's Chris. He should be able to take more uh, damage. Plus, if I remember correctly, in the classics... Uh, the herbs actually heal you percent by percentage. Outbreak kind of brainwashed me. Because everything's in like fixed numbers. Red and green is always 1500 health. HP, no matter you know what your HP pool is. But here, I think it's percentual. Ah, oh, shit, fuck. If I push him off... Oh, let me take the ammo. <laughs> Will I be able to run away from this? Yes, he left the clip. Thanks, Kenneth. Oh, 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 it works somehow. All right. Is there another clip? Let's find out. Dude, you're a very slow opponent. He's not even here, is he? Is there anything? Yeah, there's another one. I tricked you. And I nabbed another magazine. For one bullet, that's good. Not even gonna kill you. You kill Kenneth, so you get to suffer forever. Nah, only until we burn the place down. You know, I know they're police officers, they're, it's their job to inspect and everything, but uh, investigate. But wouldn't it be more realistic if they saw this shit <laughs> it just went, you know what, burn the house. Chris, you have a flamethrower right there. It depends on the version, really. So some in some versions, there's only one, and some there are two. Uh, generally, Western versions were uh, harder, more difficult. But uh, Director Scott introduced the difficulty, so I can't remember. I knew used to know exactly which version. Uh, where's the map? That's nope. That's not it. Which version has where? How much? Well, my only obligation was school. So uh, yeah, we don't even have the map. This is Resident Evil One. What am I expecting? Like to be. To get into the Spencer Mansion and there the butler waiting for me. Your mop, sir. Please do not get lost in these walls. The zombies are rather hungry today. Uh, I don't know if it's different with uh, PAL NTSC. It should be. So the PAL version should be just uh, basically slowed down US NTSC version. But I mean, because these games have several versions, as in revisions, so on some of them you can even see, like, I don't know, V1.2 or whatever. But for some of them you never... Like Resident Evil 3 has two versions, and the difference... Come on, climb. Climb. You can't climb here, this is not the remake, yep. Nope, you can just push. Okay then. Uh, wait, I'm... It's Chris. Oh, there's no fucking lockpick. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was gonna say, uh, can you go here? After this. Um, RE3 has two versions, and the best way I found to figure out which version you have is whether the... There are several differences, but the most striking one is when you get to the clock tower, is it always uh, DUD? Down, up, down, down, up, down? Or do they, do they randomize? Is it 50-50? That's if you don't understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but yeah. There are sometimes ways to see which version you have. I am not really good with uh, this uh, sword. Yeah, the key that you don't even have is Jill. I'm not an expert in Saturn versions yet. <laughs> so we'll find out. I know that... Like these small differences... I don't know if you've ever seen Gerza in... Uh, in the Japanese version uh, 
of RE1, at least on the Saturn, but I think it was like that on the PlayStation as well. Each document, each file has its own special icon, like, not icon, but more like background graphics, like in later games. I'm gonna start by searching the... Oh yeah, let's let the... Are they gonna enter here with Chris immediately, or is he gonna close the door? Let's find out. Ooga booga, yeah. Yeah, okay. Why wouldn't I think that's a crocodile? Like infected, somehow terrestrial crocodile. Very tall <laughs> crocodile. But you're, it's a fucking bioweapon. What do I know? I'm a kid. <laughs> oh yeah. We'll stream that again sometime. Sure. David's not gonna have mine. Or Sega... I, I want to say Sega Guru, but someone had that title before him. So we gotta make him a title with Sega in it. Like the Sega Master. But yeah, we're gonna play that again. Because uh, there are some weird changes in these games. I don't know, if I've talked about a lot about uh, regional differences uh, in Outbreak games, and I will. It's crazy it's the kind of stuff they added for different regions. I mean, just the lack of auto-aim is terrifying. Inside, okay, sword, sword. Yeah, I'm going, going up to find the... Oh shit, now he's fast. Jeez. I just left that zombie. I don't know if I ever did that. Usually take care of him first. He's right there in the way to, to clip. So I'm like, move, bastard. But now he's just gonna roam that whole way until he's replaced by hunters, of course. Without auto aim, never. <laughs> That, that you're never bored without auto aim in classic RE. Because <laughs> instead of just like snapping onto the enemy behind you, you gotta do this. Oh, wait for me. That takes too long. Oh my god, that laser sound. I'm so glad. Now I know it's not gonna. Well, I don't know anything, but I highly assume that it's not gonna freeze again, weirdly. Wouldn't it be easier to not skip each step? Crazy. Crazy. We're playing with Crazy. I like this Chris Redfield. It's not, it's not that, that I dislike him from RE5. It just... Well, it doesn't seem like the same person, does he? Uh, we only got one slot. Shit, shit, shit. What do you do when you're, like, when you're overloaded? The comments are the same. Can I even avoid the crows? Well, with 45 bullets, I can definitely get to uh, to the save room, and then we'll see. Apparently, he can take a lot more damage. Are those crows? Nah. Doesn't even have a bazooka for him, because this is Chris. He only has a clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You want to play hard? There you go hard. It's forest. He's been packed to death by crows. How do they, like, why do they attack you once you read that? They're like, ha ha, surprise, cockface. <laughs> Waiting in, in ambush. <laughs> He's been murdered by a murder of crows. That would be that would be in style of Resident Evil. So nice, we can bring the key as well. Oh, is it? I think it's just because I said it. So what I do, I'm <laughs> by vocation, I'm a video engineer, because uh, I love digital analog video transmissions, all that like machines that make video, machines that receive video, also known as television. <laughs> I love all that stuff and. Uh, I do my best to make it, you know, the 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 brightness and frame rate and everything that the developers imagined that the game was made for. If you take a look now, yeah, I did it. You, you'll see that the stream is running at 25 frames per second, which is a progressive version of PAL. Is there two zombies here? Oh, let's find out. No, fuck, I fucked it up. He's gonna get to the door before me. Ah!
No, normally when I boost, so no, right now brightness is plus 20 to get the real brightness out of Saturn. Some capture cards, some emulator video plugins, some uh, even TVs do not interpret brightness correctly. So what I do is, you know those bars that this game doesn't have them, but I have other tools. Like I use the bars, color bars and stuff like that to try to achieve optimal brightness. So that's something to... To actually keep an eye on that's interesting if it's e if it's really brighter yeah there he is well, i'll have to take uh, one of them out it's not that i even need this for now so fuck it. i'll be back here later anyway let's not waste, waste time with them i just wanna i know it's not much different but like i said i only played chris scenario twice in my life <laughs> well on the original and uh, one of those times, one of those playthroughs was the PC version, which was at least 2004 or 5. So it's not like I expect there to be a tyrant in the next room, but I still don't know what I'm going to see. Like there's a clip, I kept expecting a bazooka. And then as I was crouching for the clip, I thought, hmm, Chris doesn't have a bazooka. He doesn't, he doesn't have this, <laughs> he couldn't even pack a bazooka with him in his six slots. Very nice. But I still don't have a sword key. What am I doing? So that means I gotta go upstairs, I'm sure. That sword key is really a wrench. Which... Jill unlocks these with the lockpick, right? The sword doors. And she also unlocks the simple locks from the drawers with the lockpicks. So that makes me think... What does that make me think? Not much. I'm not capable of thinking right now. <laughs> Look at that Slavic carpet. That's the... Yep, that, that, that uh, pattern is... Very familiar. <laughs> it is. You know what I'm talking about. It's... It is... Pretty much a Slavic carpet. Well, it is. What I, I'm gonna say, 100%. Looks like the ones my uh, great grandmother had. What is that, Jim? And now, because we can't see the blood splatter, I can only. Oh, he's still alive. Because I can push him. Oh, why are you getting up, sir? That's not the part of the deal. As long as you can push him, that means they're not dead. Oh, this guy's dead. They don't get better than this. So, you, sir. Is he right there? Oh, nope. <laughs> can I go around this guy? You know what? Fuck. Damn it, shouldn't have shot one more time. Still alive, sir? Can I push you? Yep, he's still alive. Ah, it's so hard to aim without auto aim. Oh shit. Okay, that was too close. Goodbye, sir. Next, please. Why is it so weird going this way? But it is a game where you have... <laughs> I thought as a kid this was a, a free-roaming game. Because it kind of is. You can choose your path. Nothing uncommon. It's my own footsteps that scared me. It's well arranged. Oh, look. There's a book here. We read this in the last. So I guess I will read only the things that... Um... So this is what I meant, Garza. In the Japanese version here in the background, you would have the book. Like the picture of the book you just picked up. And I was saying, uh, I won't read the files that we read in this run series. So, only if there's something new for Chris. For Chris, where is the, where is the document for Chris? There's no lighter because he starts with the lighter. No, he doesn't. Why do I remember him starting with the lighter? Shouldn't that be his personal item? Because Jill has a lockpick. He has a, that's the remake. So yeah, that's what, last time I played Chris remake, which was a couple of years ago, 
I spent at one point a long time <laughs> looking for the lighter. <laughs> I couldn't find the lighter to get the, the 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 map, and then I was like, ah, he has the lighter in his in his inventory. Yeah, it is. I'm not sure here. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. I need the room downstairs. Can I kill them from here? Because that would be really handy. These guys can use stairs, unlike in the remake, so... How is that not hitting anything? Guys, are you sure? I'm gonna try once more. Nope. There's an invisible barrier between me and them. But yeah, in the remake, in RE1 remake, Chris has a lighter on him, just like Jill has a lockpick. Here, they they don't have the... I think the extra slot was added, special, like, personal slot was added in, uh, in uh, RE2. And it's used for all the characters in Outbreak, but originally, you couldn't see the extra item. Okay. Whew. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is a... It is not an easy room without auto-aim. Wait, are you playing the... The director's cut with auto-aim or the, these <laughs> first versions without it? Well, you have time. That's, that's a lie. You have time. It's not that you don't have time. You just don't want to do it. You want to investigate. Because that's your job. Yeah, the original. <laughs> okay, yeah. Hunters. Hunters without, uh, without auto-aim. They're too fast. And... You probably know this, but uh, the the original Japanese version had auto aim. It was removed in the Western releases. So, oh look at this! Oh yeah! No wait, first aid spray doesn't go there. That it goes here. And then combine all these clips. Yeah, this is like kind of like easy mode on PlayStation. At least that that's what that's what it reminds me of. It's 60 bullets, really? 60, and I spent a clip. It's 75 bullets to start. Okay, it's not gonna be that hard. Especially since he has way more HP than Jill. Considerably. So, desks. I'm gonna find these keys for something. For desks, I'm pretty sure. Because the sword key will be... Uh, sword key will be for the doors, that's right. Memory, do not fail me. Or do. New experiences, why not? It's so weird having this half, half of inventory. To kill the weeds. <laughs> okay, that's it. There's no, again, not the remake. Very little in these rooms. There's no, there's no ink ribbon here. Let's go. Now we can go up, maybe. I should have left the herbicide, never mind. I'm gonna go do some cleanup. Do I even need to? Kinda. Yeah, I do wanna unlock the sword key door. What about here, huh? Or maybe go, well, let's go up to the top floor first. I wanna see what's in that room and if there's a red herb. I would love to have a red green, at least one. It would make me feel a lot safer. I'll run upstairs right away. Before that guy, yeah, starts moving. No! Jesus, I hate when they approach to kiss me. Oh, you sir, you know what? You're probably not even important anymore. A carving of an... Oh, there's another one there. I can see him. Oh, that's shitty. Okay, there's more zombies. Three bullets, really? What are you, made of paper? He's dead dead? 
Look at that. He died from three bullets. That guy needed eight. What about you, sir? How many bullets do you need? Well, you don't need any, but I'm gonna give them to you anyway. I missed. Never mind. Here's another one. Four. Five. There you go. You alive, sir? No, he's not alive. Okay. That leaves 45, 46 bullets. Feels like they're going faster <laughs> than they are. Just a red, huh, okay. Still need the lighter? Or just a green, I mean. A green orb. Yeah, I know where they're gonna be a lot of those. Wood is put in the stove, a paper is on the wall. This is helmet still. It's not drastically different. And there's a carpet on the on the ceiling. I'll never get that. Why why is that? Where is that? Is does that mean something? Is it like I'm so rich I have a carpet on my ceiling? So there's nothing there. There was a waste. There's nothing back there either. I can't access those rooms, so let's go where I can go. I can bring the herbicide, I think. Yeah, I can bring the herbicide. Is there anything in those rooms? An herb, more zombies. You know what? I'm gonna bring the herbicide. Provided I can even go there. I think I can go through the up, upper floor. Yeah. Let's drop, well, the herbicide and one uh, herb. At least the knobs are turning in the right direction. In later games, I swear those knobs are going backwards. The way we would lock things. There you go. Six. I can't. Six slots. <laughs> Eight is okay. Can be plenty. <laughs> you know, depending how the game was built. But six... Because in RE3, you, you start with 8 and then you get 10. In RE2, you start with 8, you get 10. Here, here you go, Chris. Six slots. Go fuck yourself. Zombies don't even have a single one. <laughs> All they have is their teeth. Ah. That's how I walk up the steps. Skip every second one. It looks as it looks as gracious as Chris. Brink brink. Why into the wall? There's nothing in the wall. We tried that. This is locked with armor. Yeah. And the other one is locked with also with armor. Yeah, okay. I always wondered as a kid when it says there's a carving of an armor. When the doors open, when it loads, I was always looking for it. Where is it? I think I stopped doing that with RE2. Because I was like, clearly there's no card symbols underneath these knobs. So I guess they just see them. They just tell you in RPG style what they see. Hi guys, okay, let's shoot this. Suppressing fire, oh shit, suppressing fire, I'm gonna die. -er. Oh my god, it worked somehow. Sir? <laughs> These groans. Okay, he bled out. You, okay, you and I will have to go for a walk. I'm not wasting ammo on you because I'm down to 37 from 75. Jeez. We already spent more than 50%. I did miss a few times and shot at the air and stuff. L look, my neck is here. Just come. Come here. Come.
come, come. No, not in the wa How? How the fuck are you guys alive this long? Just look, fresh neck. It's very, it's muscly. It's lean. It's good for you. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. You can do it, you boy. Come on. You can walk. Who's a good boy? Come on. No, not to the wall. Stop going towards the wall. Dude. <laughs> he like, it's like he forgets what he's doing. <laughs> No, <laughs> I, I would love to, but no. Wait, wait, there are actually there are in the remake. If you mean RE2 remake, then yes. In RE1 remake, no. In RE2 remake, you can see the symbols underneath the door knobs. That's a good bonus that I never. <laughs> I'm sorry, the zombie's just so entertaining. Um, that's a good bonus I never actually paid attention to, or uh, not paid attention. I'm sorry, did I never mention when I mentioned the positives of RE2 remake? That's one of them. Fuck your art. Oh, I could have just taken that, but fuck that. I don't have money for art. You don't get to have art. <laughs> Dead zombies on an eternal quest. Just going in circles. Biting the wall from time to time. Maybe that's why the wallpaper is crashed in places. They, they had nothing to eat, so... Holy shit, three zombies?! I'll have to let them bite me. Why are you not hitting that guy? I missed way too many times. Too narrow to go around them, so... And I'll risk my foot. Fuck it. Better than a bullet, huh? Or not. Char! Oh, look, they're all dead. I, I expected to be bitten. Of an animal. It's probably the crocodiles. I don't think it's the power. Yeah, it had. <laughs> definitely it had the power. I think they just didn't think of it. Because you can't even... It's a different point of view, right? In, in the RE2 remake, you, you have... You control the camera in RE1 remake. So I don't know if you know, but RE1 remake backgrounds... Three. <laughs> That's very bad, man. That's... The backgrounds of very one remake they're not they're not st static pictures like people think they're actually uh very short video clips looping that's why you get beautiful fire and all that it's already like rendered and it's just playing out no 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 Oof. that that corner <laughs> now i gotta remember if the zombies from on the left or on the right i think it's on the left but I'm never 100% with that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa! What is it? What? Oh! Oh, no! Sorry. I forgot I about... I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you must be from the Bravo team. Yes, I'm Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really <sighs> sorry. Are you all right? Yes, I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha Team. How do you know not, not you know the each only other? Person here from the Bravo Team. Well, because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway. But I, uh. I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. Yes, sir. Strange. I serviced the helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. It was such a short flight. I forgot about this. It's been years since I saw this. First of, well, first of all, did she just F8 spray him in the face? Or am I healed? Because if not, that nope, I'm not healed. That was pepper spray. <laughs> Why can't she use that in RE0? That would be cool. Second, you just ran into the house. Like, after I went through already a mansion, survived a train crash, <laughs> went through a mansion, through a church, fought a mutated bat, <laughs> went through an umbrella laboratory that we found that's north of, uh, in the north part of the city. They have monsters there, they're breeding there, and I came to this house. But no, fucking skip all that. I know, they didn't think about this. 
back then they had something for zero it wasn't this script it's just funny <laughs> after we know what she went through like oh i just went into this house i serviced the helicopter how do you people do not know each other the, the star's office is like you can't you couldn't have not seen him to introduce to each other right now it's just <laughs> i love these games but sometimes sometimes they get weird i don't know <laughs> even for the time <laughs> you'd think somebody would say you know what they work together maybe we should uh let them be high hey hello rebecca hello chris sir or whatever if if he's her superior or whatever <laughs> i don't know <laughs> like we never met the police station is a fucking country how how could i how could i have known i'm gonna pack this up as well can I even get there? You know what? We have to try. So I'm gonna say... Small key for uh, that door. I can't even open it now, I think. And herbicide. We'll find out. Let's find out. <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> that reaction? Ah! Ah! What the fuck is that? A carving of a sword. That's pretty cool. I rarely see this key. It's even got those... Uh, The design is wonderful. See how, you, how how many man hours went into modeling this key in the time where when you had to like hook up your Game Boy to President's computer to do anything? And and we have this. <laughs> well, what should Think I do so. now? If you go out to search for the other members, how about letting me come with you? Huh, what does, does anybody know what I'm choosing here? Or should I just go? Should I take her with me? I mean, yeah. I, I Okay, I forgot about this. Let's say yes, because we always split split up in these horror games and movies. So, do it now. Yeah, take Rebecca with you. All right, let's do it. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. I have to prepare something. Would you like to go ahead? What's the point? Why why did you ask me to bring you? <laughs> oh my god. Do you want me to go with you? Yes. Okay, I'll be there in a month. <laughs> oh god, where is that zombie? Zombie? Oh there it is. Oh boy, that's that's just priceless. <laughs> yeah, it's locked with armor. I can't. She's I love this Rebecca already. I for, totally forgot. I, I'm used to Rebecca from RE0. And then this one. It's She's so timid and nice. <laughs> Very nice. She's That's not the Rebecca that tried to arrest Billy. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you, Rebecca. That made my day. Ah! Oh, you have used the sword key. Hello. The sword key. Okay, I'll try to... There should be a guy on the floor that will also get up, right? I remember something like that. Or was that in the remake now? No, oh, he's not here. Nice! I need clips. Clips? I need clips? I sh Did I push? Yeah, I pushed the thing. That's right. <laughs> oh... I gotta okay. I, I I admit I was wrong to not play Chris often because that 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 line alone was worth it. <laughs> that that cutscene, whatever that meeting. All right, that guy is gonna be in there. I have only three in the. You know what? No reloads. That's the challenge I set for myself. And by God, I'll do it. Oh no! He slowly opened the door. What the fuck am I gonna do? He'll catch up with me. No. Sir, did you eat the cow? It's almost... It almost could have been an RPG. There you go. Sasha has made it official. Oh, Jesus Christ. You tricked me. Ah, oh, that's my walking foot. I need that. There you go. Just... <laughs> I, okay, I'm loving this already. I was a little... There we go. Yellow caution. Took two bites. He can't take more damage than Jill. Definitely. Things will never be the same after that. <laughs> after what we just seen. <laughs> uh, you want me to come with you? Yes. Okay, I'll be there next week. 
<laughs> Keeper's Diary is the same. We don't see the the thing though. Really sad. This is one of my favorite uh, documents in all of Resident Evil series. I think the close second would make... Well, no, actually, it's a close second. The, my favorite document in all of Resident Evil would be the documents at the end of RE8. The end of Village. <laughs> no, they're not. I'm trolling. That is some... That is some fan fiction stuff at the end of Village. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about it yet. <laughs> Unless, you know, in case there are people watching who haven't uh, played <laughs> RE8. But man, like, the, the whole game is weird. We unlocked it. Yeah, that's what we won. But then that final part, the, the document, the, the, the lore bomb. I, I swear, they just went to Google, looked up uh, Resident Evil fanfic, and they picked the one they liked the most. <laughs> yeah, people usually lump them together, 7 and 8. For me, honestly, 7 is great. I love 7. But as much as I love 7, 8 feels... 8 is, it doesn't feel. It's such a letdown. To me, you know. I feel like 7 had it right. I played it twice in a row. That says a lot. I'd rarely do that with games. It had the atmosphere. It's actually... I'm gonna say that's the best RE1 version since RE1 Remake. RE7. It, I guess because you're in a house... Um, you know, you, you're in this one house, one location. There's a there's an adjacent lab and all that. You, it, it really reeks of RE1. In a good way. Unlike RE4, you know, that try to change the formula. This changed it in a good way for me. Because the first person perspective, it kind of substitutes for these uh, fixed camera angles. Because you, you, you're limited where you can see. With fifth camera angles, it's very fixed, right? I gotta see if that... Wait, he's not Billy. He's, he can't play the piano. That's Billy. He needs Rebecca. That's right. <laughs> I can't. Too, too many things are happening. I don't know what to... Who, where to go first <laughs> in terms of talking about this it just thank you Rebecca I know you're a medic and laughter is the best medicine so you can consider yourself su succeeded in ah shit okay I'll be right back too bad I can't carry it in my arms <laughs> to this piano <laughs> two steps away but this will do is that right kitty you're gonna fall off you crazy animal Yes. Charge! So with this, with such low ammo, <laughs> with such low ammo, I don't know. Yeah, I was talking about RE7 and 8. I'm sorry. I always defend, always. I tend to defend 7 and spit on 8 because that's bad. It's just horrible. <laughs> bad game writing. Whoa, bad writing. Doesn't matter. Oh, Jesus. Why is there three zombies in every room? Because I'm Chris? Is that the gag? Oh yeah, I can just... Whee! Can't do anything here. Good thing I just ran. <laughs> I'm gonna be so boxed in afterwards. I should have done that with more zombies, just went around them. I don't know why I thought like 60, 75 bullets will be enough for anything in Resident Evil 1. So yeah, this part. So this is what I'm talking about, Gurza, dithering. See that water? I think... You should be, yeah, you can see it in the stream. See how it looks like pixelated? It's because literally every second pixel is not drawn. So that's why it looks transparent, especially in motion. Our, our brains uh, fill in for the missing information. They do that a lot. Otherwise, you would hear your own heartbeat. And so they eliminate every, our brain eliminates everything they don't need, uh, you know, in a healthy individual. And it fills up what they, you know, fills in the blanks, basically. And that's how dithering works. Now we can see it because this is a, higher quality screen even though it's the same reproduction device the Sega Saturn you can see it's easier to see it on a CRT you wouldn't be so sure about it it's the checkerboard effect as some people say so herbicide I gotta use that ge gem jewel either they're both good I always wondered, like, what's the sound? What makes the sound? Is it the 
mutated plant that makes the sound or is it just its move movements that make the sound so many herbs but we can't take any you know what we can take we can take a red and then come back for the key jeez okay i gotta do this how many not enough for these zombies and i need the shotgun hey no that's the sword key this key i need for the shotgun that's right so i'm gonna do that are you the key yeah. Yes, it is, because, yeah, this is the armor key. Sword, armor, so we're missing shield helmet. I'm just gonna risk it. I didn't get far, and I can get here in, like, ten minutes. Well, more. Ten minutes without loading. Okay, let's try this. Shouldn't die as Chris, but again, like I said, it's percentual. So basically, you have more heals as well as Chris. If you use a red-green or a triple-green, you fill up health. It doesn't matter if it's Chris's or Jill's health, it still, you know, fills it up. Can we avoid this guy? No, I'll have to come back here. Uh... Are you serious? You made me waste a bullet, asshole. Uh... 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 Maybe I shouldn't have killed that guy. Oh, jeez, that was close. You're gonna bite my foot? Yeah, as soon as I move. Oh, no, he's not. Cool, 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 cool. There you go. There he goes. There he goes again. Jeez, every time. You done? Okay. Whew. But I have to kill that guy, too, to leave the gem. 12 bullets. Nah. I'll go get the shotgun first, then come back. Gotta pick up those herbs as well. <laughs> This, so R1, Tomb Raider 2, Vanish Chapter, and a Splinter Cell game. Maybe it's just Splinter Cell, isn't that, wasn't that the first one on the PlayStation? Because you mentioned these games, games from uh, uh, the, the same time. I think I know which Splinter Cell you mean. I played that as a kid. Well, I played a Splinter Cell as a kid. Ooh, just one slot. You gotta pick one. And there's a, there's a clip here. You know what? I have an idea. I'm gonna need the desk key as well, the small key. The desk is locked, that's right. What a weird study. I would make this a streaming room. See, I would I would put the TV uh, and console shelf on this wall, and I would put a couch here. And there you go. Studio. And there, there's the shelf for games. Spencer already thought of everything. I'll ch I can't remember the levels. I just remember I remember the cover and the the feeling of gameplay. It was something new back then. But man, oh shit! Not not my back of the neck. I saved that for special occasions. Whoa! <laughs> I think I'm, he's gonna be orangey caution now. So uh, a little more, a little more caution, literally. I should have used the clip on that guy and used the the gem, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Blue jewel, just put it somewhere. You gotta be next to your pistol so I can reload faster. I know, I know. Now this, I got a sword. Combat knife, combat knife, pistol, ammo, shotgun, ammo. There we go. At least we know that much. And there's uh, there's a lot of herbs back there. We're, we'll get some. We don't even need the key right now, because I'm going to bring all the herbs, Morty. All of them. Actually, you leave both keys. There you go. Almost naked. Yellow caution. I'm going to do something crazy, because I can. And... I can. That's, that's the most important thing. And that's... I'm going to mix two greens. Use. Very off, fine and dandy. Like nothing ever happened. That aloe vera, I just rubbed it on my neck and the zombie bite was instantly done, gone. <laughs> this is, Sasha, this is the, the ideal situation to rub aloe vera on someone's neck. Not what uh, Sarge had in uh, Red vs. Blue. I mean, specifically zombie bite. Ah, suck you. Ah. 
One of them is gonna bite me. Shit, shit, shit. Well, now that we spent ammo on you. That's what I want. He's dead already? Okay, good. I forgot the small key, did I? Man, I really didn't want to kill you guys, but I messed up. Nothing here. The guy was just standing under the stairs. That's a really cool stairwell. It gives me an idea. Because you don't need a really good... You don't need a whole building, like, part for that. Did I bring the small key? No. Let's do that. You can just have steps like there. This first one, yeah. Yeah, I played that one. I never beat it, because I only played it in the arcades, so you, like, go there, you pay money to play a certain amount of time, that's what I did then. I never beat it. Someone would, inevitably, if it's a longer game, someone would, uh, at some point, just delete your save. Uh, usually to play uh, football or soccer, if you're in the US, and uh, there were, like, four memory cards on four PlayStations, and then somebody plays either soccer or a football manager. And there goes your memory cards. Those football manager games on the on PS1, they used to take a whole memory card. Just one save file. Alright, let's unlock that. Yes. Smoke. More shells. Yay, for a weapon I don't have. Rejoice. Rejoice. So, will I even have room? I didn't bring the gem. Never mind. Let's go bring the herbs. I have to make multiple trips. I don't know why I'm trying to, like, manage this. Do it all in one trip when there's no point and no um, entertainment value in that. For me. That's a candle right next to the door. Very nice touch. Yeah, it is. Like, here. Over here. Um, in Serbia, in the Balkans generally, it's pretty big. So people like playing football games. It's one of the most played games in this region, sir. Uh... I gotta stop shooting that extra bullet. Uh... Really? Uh... Man, you're tanky. Ugh. Rough start, but it will be okay. I didn't even have to do that right now, but I did it. Just watch me mess up. <laughs> nice, very nice uh, wallpaper. Prink. Alright, it's time to stock up on weed. As a police officer, I must confiscate this. I'm sorry. I just stepped on one of them. I guess I'm clumsy. Uh, I need this as evidence. I'm gonna take all this one by one. That's the only way I know how. My mom never held me. She always held Claire. We mix those two reds with greens, and then two more greens, and man, we're set. Should be more than enough. You gonna do it? <laughs> Chris is short-sighted. He needs help. I can't see it. Man, this is the Chris I remember. Here and in Code Veronica. When I saw him in RE5, actually I didn't even saw him in RE5. I saw that RE5 was the first Resident Evil game whose development I kind of followed. We got the internet and everything by 2008. And I still have the wallpapers I downloaded at some point in 2008. It was already weird. Like, what? Why is why is Chris's arm, shoulder bigger than the fucking steering wheel he's using on the truck? They were just still stills from the game, and it showed like 
like a plan almost <laughs> uh, as a plan i mean um, some some sort of engineering plan i don't know what you call that like schematic because there would be uh there would be i don't know points at the turret it says turret like really i know it's a turret <laughs> are you trying to be cool Honestly, the only classic Tomb Raider I ever played was the fourth one. I forgot what it was called. It was the, I think it was the last one on the PS1. They don't mix, do they? Oh, shit, I always forget that. Oh, that's okay. They don't auto, auto mix in the first game. I gotta take the other one now. Right, up, right underneath the blue jewel. Um, yeah, as I was saying... Those, that, that was the first Tomb Raider I played. I have Tomb Raider 3 in German, so it doesn't mean much. <laughs> Everything's in German. Um, and I played the 2013 remake, which I enjoyed. It was the first Tomb Raider I played all the way. But people tell me it's really bad compared to older games. So it's something I'm looking into. Getting the, at least the original trilogy, if nothing else, on the PlayStation. I did play Duke Nukem uh, Time to Kill, Delmar. And... Uh, that game it was made by it wasn't core design but they did lend the engine it's the same it's the tomb raider engine basically so that was my connection with tomb raider i'm so fucked without ammo but at least all the zombies are dead all the ones so far for the rest we have the shotgun should be enough there is more zombies here yeah time to kill is really good uh for me, my favorite is uh, Zero Hour. I didn't take the shotgun, did I? No, it's okay, I have room. Zero Hour for the N64 and Time to Kill. Those are two best Duke Nukems in my opinion. Not just, not just because they're time traveling. I just love the gameplay of those games. Really fun to play. Especially Zero Hour because it's it's got one of the longest campaigns on the N64 for a shooter game. You keep thinking, girl, this is the last level. I've finally done it. And you go through time, sideways, up, down, left, right. Change history, I think, twice. Similar to uh, similar to Time to Kill, but again, different. And he, Duke even makes a reference to Time to Kill in Zero Hour. When you see, when you see um, an hourglass, no, not an hourglass. Uh, what do you call it? Like the sundial, yeah. When you see a sundial on the, <laughs> uh, in a courtyard, I think in... Middle Ages or Victorian Age or something like that. He says, ah, looks like it's time to kill. Yes, exactly. Atmosphere. That's the word. Atmosphere is why I like <laughs> RE7. Atmosphere is why I dislike RE8. It should be good on paper, but it's not. But yeah, Time to Kill had great music. Followed those ages. You know how every era had the, its own music. The present had that like electro beat. The Wild West had that like... Uh, Guitar. Um, med uh, medieval music was my favorite in Duke Nukem Time to Kill. The, the choir, the looping choir, and Rome was also great music. Ancient Rome. <laughs> Man, I, I'm remembering some of this. We gotta stream that. That's All the Duke Nukems will happen at some point. Some, my phone is doing weird shit charge happy holidays gamut good to see you man how's work treating you what are we doing um, i got everything i need i can like i'll just take the shortcut fuck this wink huh i'm thinking of the route yeah okay there are people here who played chris more times. Gamut is definitely. I, I know I've seen him play. We're good. We're good. It was a nice rest last week. I was under the orders from Sasha not to do anything, which included streaming. And it worked. It worked. It, it, it really felt good to chill out a little. No, just gamut we haven't had a, a vacation since 2015 july 2015 so it's kind of catching up to us and 
Oh, sword key, I forgot. Yeah, I needed it for that door. Oh, no, I didn't forget. You know, it... We can feel the effects, but we gotta keep going, so... I was a little burning out <laughs> near the end of the year with everything. So I'm grateful Sash made me, you know, chill out a little. It's always about the money, you don't... You don't over... I like my work, right? But... I work extra because of money, not because you don't use the key like that. This is an outbreak. Um, no. Okay, that's we're done with it. Ooh, scared me. Don't do that. Five bullets, not enough even for a Cerberus. So I'll be right back. There's a clip somewhere in there, I know. But yeah, how are you doing uh, generally after New Year's and everything? We had Christmas two days ago. Our Christmas is two weeks after the Catholic Christmas. And we'll have New Year's, <laughs> Orthodox New Year on uh, Saturday, well, Friday evening. So here, the, the holidays are kind of extended. We uh, take a piece of your holidays, because when Catholic Christmas comes around, we're already like, oh, it's Christmas. But then uh, until January 14th, it's... If you're in good standing, it's non-stop party. I should have brought the helmet key, no, the armor key as well, but it'll be okay. I'm, I'm going. Why am I going here? Because I wanna, I wanna take the shotgun the shortest possible way. That's right. He runs a little different than Jill too. Maybe I was wrong. I think Chris had ginormous shoulders even here. It's just harder to see them. Two weeks. Oh, man. Yeah, I remember you telling me you were not feeling good when I came by. I didn't remember I came by to just check on you, but... Came by. Your stream, not your place. But, uh... Two weeks. I'm sorry, man. I, are you... Are you feeling good now? Is it better? And sorry about the car. Okay, good to hear. Were you streaming these days? You weren't even around. I, I don't know. When I wake up, uh, there's like 50 Twitch notifications and they get eaten with other. So I'm not even sure if you streamed. I'm gonna dump the... I have the key. Why the fuck did you not use the key? Never mind. Oh, I could have used it all this time. You did. Okay, okay. I missed all that. Yes, key. You good? It's... Yeah... She's, I like when she's do, do, doing that. She's so diligent. Like, I gotta find the best place for my butt. I'm gonna use it here. Not the butt, the key. We're gonna find some ammo in there, I remember. It's gonna be good. And we're gonna use it on that door back there. So I think we can... Two doors in this hallway. And with that, we can throw it away, I'm pretty sure. And then we can go do, do the piano. <gasps> oh, nice. So it's good, huh? I'm happy to hear that. Wait, what did I not unlock? There's a door that needs the armor key. Which door could it be? Check the second floor, what we know. Okay, that, that, all done. The balcony's done. That's done. That's done. Hello, Weski. Hello, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the raid, Weski. Welcome, everyone, to Resident Evil 1 on the Saturn. We're doing the Chris story. Hello, Simon. Hello, everyone. Happy holidays. It's been a while. It's been a week. Uh, where do I need this key? I'm gonna say... I forgot something on the first floor, I'm sure. Maybe in the main... Oh, I'm, I'm gonna check. It's been, a, it's been a really long time since I played Chris, so I really gotta double check these things. Thanks for the shout-out, Sash. Hello, Eski. 
sent the whiskey. What was I gonna check? The, the lower door. I think. I'm pretty sure those are not locked with special keys. But I could be totally wrong. So far we had one small key. And it worked. Don't do that console. That's really scary when you do that. Stop doing that. That's, you gotta stop. Yeah, the Saturn one. I'm doing the Chris run, which I forgot, Wesky. <laughs> we all forgot about it somehow. Yes, there it is. I knew it. Wait, there's more? I know where there's more. Where we're going, we don't need no keys. Is it worth to risk it? Can I kill a dog with five bullets? Because if I'm out of bullets, I'm fucked. I sprayed bullets all around the mansion and I'm out of them. I'm like, ah, 75 bullets. We'll have that till the end of the game. No, they were out in 10 minutes or less. It's going great, Wesky. It's going great. I'm having fun. You know, aside from playing a classic Ari game. I played Chris and Ari only twice in my life. Once on PlayStation, once on PC. And then twice again in the remake. So, it's almost, it's like a new scenario for me. Yes, exactly, Gamut. So, Vagrant Story, Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, is it here? Is there a door here that needs the... Nah, it couldn't be that. That would be too stupid. And Final Fantasy XII. Well, everything that has something to do with the Evil East. I'm pretty sure there was the same team. At least the key people were the same. Which is why I'm raving about those games. Why I love Final Fantasy XII a lot. It's among... Top three of my Final Fantasies. Well, it's 6, 9, and 12, really. So, 12 is one of those I beat multiple times. So, I was really... They have so much lore in that game, in, in the foreground and in the background, that after I learned all, all that, I did touch uh, Final Fantasy Tactics for a short time. Too bad. I really want to play that seriously, but the uh, Vagrant Story never passed me. I just know about it. Yeah. So what's the gameplay like? Is it turn-based? Here's the thing. I don't watch trailers and I don't watch gameplay of games I want to play because I want to experience them, but I will gladly talk to other people about it. Not, you know, without spoiling anything. Just, uh, no, not that. The... What am I doing? The, no, wrong key. Yeah, that. Or even just bring it out. Would it hurt? No, it wouldn't hurt to bring it out. No, there's a zombie there. That's right. A zombie that might disappear later. Oh, fuck it. I'm not afraid of zombies. Fuck you. I'm gonna go through all of them. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like those changes. It's still an RPG, but it's nice. All right, someday, someday, we'll see. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Was it hard to find a copy in the US? Oh, from inside, yep, we gotta go around. There's no, no way around it. And I know where the key's gonna be used for the, for the boiler courtyard. Really, huh? Platforming elements. I've seen someone play a game on the Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis that has those like RPG with platforming elements. It was really weird to see. That's right, I got bullets there and I got a lighter. I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Hello, hello, Carter. Happy holidays, Carter. How are you, man? Well, that's okay, Wesky. Thank you so much for the raid. Thanks for bringing these lovely people here. You have a good rest. I'll see you around more and more. Internet coming soon. I'm really hoping before the end of January. So, rest well. We're going to play a lot of Outbreak. Thank you, Eski. No zombies here. Yeah, there's a zombie here with Chris. I knew it. I kind of remembered this. There's nothing here with Jill, but with Chris, you come across a zombie. Good night. Good night, Eski. Right, ink ribbon in here. Pink ribbon, no thank you. Wait, if there's no berry. 
Is it gonna be the whole file? Let's see, because with gel, if you do a certain route, the file will be torn in two. <laughs> yeah, for us, there, there are cutter. Uh, we had Christmas two days ago on the 7th and uh, Orthodox New Year is on the 14th. So everything's two weeks. Orthodox calendar is two weeks different from Catholic calendar. I guess they fought at some point. <laughs> Duck season, werbit season. <laughs> and that's how we got that. So yeah, we still have uh, holidays. Research as well. My dear Alma, the fact that you have received this letter is both a joy and a sadness for me. I could not even talk to you because of that guy in the sunglasses. Alma, be calm and read this. I think I've told you that I moved to a pharmaceutical company's lab. They had hunted me. It sounds like they wanted to kill you. Last month, there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying escaped. All my colleagues who were infected by the virus are dead. To be accurate, they've become the living dead. They still wander around. Some of them are knocking on my room door desperately right now. But there's no sign of intelligence in their eyes. That cursed virus takes away all humanity from the human brain. Love, joy, sorrow, fear, humor, eternally. And Alma, even the memories of the days I spent with you. Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forget more about you by the day. So I choose, chose a peaceful death, rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Good bye, <laughs> and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. Martin Crackhead. Thanks, Carter. Game is fully 3D, which again is weird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, nice. That is... You're hyping it up? <laughs> Gamut, you're hyping it up. <laughs> you don't even need, it, need to, but you're doing it. Bugs. It seems someone has searched here already. It appears to be a switch. Will you push it? Push it, Cindy would tell you. <laughs> that face. Look at that dither water. Push it! Huh. Alright, and he gets shells. I'm gonna guess shells. Yeah, my money is on shells. I would be a rich man if I bet. Well, let's take the ink ribbon as well. Pink ribbon. Bring the loot downstairs, then go for the second room. What was what was the other? Kudelka. Have you ever played Kudelka Gamut? I think I asked you, but I'm not sure. Whip. That's the guy who was knocking on the door. Uh, it's something between uh, Parasite Eve, Resident Evil. Well, like Final Fantasy and Resident Evil had a baby, right? It's like a horror RPG. J horror JRPG survival something. I can't even... It's supposed to be the first game in a series, basically. Ah, okay, okay. I'm still, I'm still fighting the battle with my second disc, so I'm just gonna get a new batch if I don't find the second one. Yeah, it, it does. <laughs> it does, Delmar. He, he did fight the, <laughs> the mutated crocodiles outside and they don't combine i just can't get over that why didn't they auto combine what is it challenge to do this it's just time wasting really i guess nobody thought of it it's it's uh, quality of life improvements they just we don't we don't appreciate them when we have them but when you go back like this imagine having to open the box every time 
just put it there somewhere. We're going to bring these. We're going to have room for... Um, well, actually, uh, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i be back here with new loot anyway. Because that's Chris for you. Ah, oh, shit. With six... Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Carter. I still can't get used to you actually knowing... Like, playing Resident Evil games. <laughs> Or like, un not even understanding them, just knowing them. Yeah, they did, Gamma, they did. Uh, was it Residents of Evil or one of those uh, Resident Evil channels did? And uh, they got Chris, Brad and Wesker, I think, or Barry. One, the three of them, they got them to play RE1. Because these people didn't even know for a while what they did. You know, unless you were really interested in video games back then, you just record your lines, you move along. Then imagine somebody in the street just going, Oh, hello, Chris Redfield. You're like, wait, I know that name. Is that That's me. <laughs> yeah, that's the challenge. Yeah, he does. He does. I think Gamma told me that, yeah. The real Brad Vickers. I gotta get a, no, a uh, some kind of notepad or something. Yeah. Um, so I can write notes here during stream. I keep. Sometimes I wanna remember stuff. Sometimes I remember to type it in somewhere. But um, please be the lighter. Yes, we got the lighter. But most of the time I forget. Another green herb. Very good. Oh, we're gonna be so f nice when we find uh, when we finally get the shotgun. Look at this bedroom. Too bad it's like two beds separated, but still, why not? But what about what about this thing? What is this for? Is that a chimney? Wait, I gotta check on the map. Is that a chimney? No, it can't be a chimney because yeah, we go back to the to that hallway, so it's not a chimney. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But it's there. Yeah. Oh, she is. I do know she's reclusive and she... Uh, I don't know if she's introverted or just... Or what she just said. I, did, I didn't think of that. I do know she did reject some interviews recently. Too bad. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, that'll never... I'll never be ready for that. And there was no clip here, as I expected. I did expect a clip here. Now, Gamut, if there is a clip there that I missed, I would appreciate <laughs> if you tell, told me, but I don't think there is. I think this is it. We got shells and five bullets for old, for two Cerberi. I'm gonna bring the knife, actually. I'll have to. Can't believe I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna bring the knife. I wasted at least, like, seven bullets missing zombies and... Trying to shoot up, shoot up the stairs. I don't know why I thought it would work. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be a pillar. Maybe even like a light holding pillar. Who knows? It's weird. Because there, there's no nothing on the other side of it to be a chimney, you know? Bring the knife and go around. <laughs> I like that stuff. I love architecture and games in general. But in games it's easier to observe. I can't just go to a match and... Be like, oh, what is this here? Why do you have that here? But I can do it here. I mean, in Resident Evil. That's our safety knife. <laughs> Where are the shells? Where did you put the shells? Fink ribbon. Uh, first of all, yeah, I didn't do the map. What is wrong with me? I'm talking too much. That's it. Okay, we can do this multiple times. That's first. I gotta get all the way there with five bullets. There's no way I'm gonna get bitten. Which is okay. I'll take it. Armor key will need that. Don't forget to bring it. Lighter will need that. This. Drop it down. Take that. Take more shells. Shells. Yeah, that could, that could be, because the house was built in the 50s, that could be it. I know we're looking for logic here in a video game uh, mansion. 
European style <laughs> Victorian mansion in the US designed by Japanese people. Like it's wonderful that it, you know, looks like anything at all. <laughs> that's it, right? So I got no armor key. Yeah, that's what I need. Damn, this inventory is really starting to show already. The lack of it, rather. I hope I didn't forget something. There's a long road between these two safe rooms. Ah, fresh mutagen. Oh, it's actually nettle syrup. Nettle? Nettle? Nettle. Yeah, nettle syrup. Click. <laughs> I love that um, polygon breaking that you can see on low, um, low poly, like older polygonal software, not just games, anything. Because they it breaks. It it has a limited number of surfaces, and they have to do that. You know, you, see, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Is there gonna be zombies here, right? Oh no. Okay, that was just the remake. Then I guess. What do you mean you can't use it here? Of course I can use it here. I've used it here many times. The map of the second floor will you take it you got the map of the second floor not gonna comment on the fire this room so a lot of rooms are all are a lot better in the remake of course they had more time and experience to make them more livable like this room in itself is just weird there's nothing like why would you be here unless there's some furniture but in the remake there's a lot of furniture and it's a very cozy room my landlord installed, installed a computer terminal Staircase, and since the house is from 1800 something, there's now a pillar stacked out of the wall with a touch screen on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard something similar from a, from a neighbor who has kids in France <laughs> when they went to visit them. Uh, I mean, they, they try to, it, I guess it's cheaper than to remade the whole house, that makes sense, but still. It can be an eyesore on older buildings. Yes, kitty. You good? You stop squirming? If I go here, I'll see... What's his face? He'll have some bullets on him, won't he? Can, will that work? Let me try, actually. I don't remember how it goes with Chris, but here we go. Here goes nothing, because I'm, I'm not obliged to go to the boss right away, so... You know what that reminds me of, kind of, Carter? Um, Star Trek, the original, when everything is obviously old style, so to say. It's obviously 50s, but they're trying to make it into the future. Oh, he's dead already. Richard from Bravo team. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. It's not Jill to go. Richard! Yes, he had clips. Thank you, Richard. Your death was not in vain. Sorry for stepping on your face. Just checking your corpse for more clips. That's good. Okay. Rest easy, Richard. Sleeping on the job. What not? <laughs> Is he gonna get up as a zombie? I wouldn't be surprised. Chris, scenario is full of uh, surprises. I wouldn't mind staying at the remake mansion if the zombies and traps were taken away. It looked, yeah, it does. Man, I love the I love the layout of this mansion. Even the parts that are nonsensical, obviously for like game. Well, what's the point of this? Just to show. People, you're rich. Why would you go through here to enter a room when you could just put that door, you know, I can't even show on the map, but you can put it on the other side where it connects to the actual big hallway, right? <laughs> it's silly, but it works. 
Imagine having to go from the kitchen, you know where the kitchen is in the Spencer Mansion, going from the kitchen to the attic, bringing a snack. You get hungry three times. Well, yeah, it was designed... Uh, it was designed... Oh, I thought I heard something. It was designed... Because uh, Spencer is from a British... They say European, but obviously British aristocratic family. So he paid George, George Trevor to make the mansion after his family one. The one he grew up in. Spencer, not George. And it's very, very similar. It's not identical, but very similar. Same style and everything. Which makes sense if he's from England. Plus the only, yeah, the only bathroom. Because this mansion was supposed to be a umbrella executive retreat. So for Spencer and his closest buddies to come here and just chill out. And, you know, since they have small penises, at least the house is big. But uh, it doesn't serve that purpose anymore. <laughs> and it's only one toilet, yeah. It was made for a rich guy to feel even richer. Where do I want to go with this? Richard is dead. We don't need Richie, so... I do want to bring the... Yeah, that's right. I have enough to kill the dogs. I'll spend the key. In one of the full maps of Raccoon City I found, which was assembled by fans, I think, from the original RE3 Raccoon City map, and what we know later, it's even labeled as Umbrella Executive Re Retreat. We unlock that. I think there's a clip here as well. Let's check. <laughs> what was it? Love Guru with uh, Mike Myers when he talks about his uh, mentors. And one of them was called Heather Small, Heather Small Wiener. But he says it like it's a name. Heather Small Wiener. I can't say it like him. He's good with those. Uh... Well, never mind, sir. I'll be back later. I think there's a there's just an ink ribbon there and a desk probably. Andrew, I, Andrew Tate. Oh, wait, I heard the name. I have no idea who that is. Don't mind me. I'm just a little chill. Which I have heating here. I could just like do this. There you go. Take this blow. There you go. It'll be it'll be warm in seconds. It's getting cold outside. Heavy rain, huh? Right, it's Cerberi killing time. Five bullets for Cerberus. Hmm. <laughs> Le gasp. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Charge! Behind me first. Yeah, that's right. One. Two. Three. Four. Down, boy. Okay, the clip is... I'm gonna say on the other side where you can't see. Man, I just keep thinking about decisions, decisions now. No clip, huh? Maybe it's on the other, other side. Let's find out. Maybe there's gonna be one here. This one's already here. I'm closer, I have damage drop off, I imagine. And it's impossible to aim without auto aim. Can you hack auto aim into the western version? I'm sure you can. Nice! Alright, alright. 40 bullets is enough for a couple of zombies. I'm gonna say 4 zombies, which is approximately how many I imagine there's gonna be there. I don't think there's a clip behind the other shelf. But I will check, because I can. Is that right, kitty? You and your crooked claws. <laughs> ah, it didn't look this bad on the... Yeah, he covered his face. It didn't look this bad on the PlayStation. But here, that's the... So that happens because of the polygon breaking. I don't know what's the English term for that. Refraction, maybe? No, that's for light, but yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Still better than RE5, Chris. Nope. I, you know what I just did? 
I tagged it so I can see it on the map. Again, this isn't Outbreak. I don't know why I keep doing these things. Just force of habit. Now it's useless. Yes. Alright. And after all this, I gotta do that uh, puzzle. And we're done with Mansion already. Man, that was fast. Well, it wasn't. It was two hours. But still, it was fast for me. I was having fun. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. But I'm having a blast here. Could you please stop cleaning yourself on me? It's been... You've been doing this for a long time, kitty. Spreading your hair. Look at this. Just made a cloud. Stop that. Quit it. <gasps> There's a key here with Chris. That's right. The bathtub is filled with muddy water. Will you unplug it? What well, does that make then? Muddy water is unplugged? Ha! <laughs> no, don't listen to me. At the bottom of the tub, there's a small, tiny, way, very tiny key. Quite tiny. Nothing useful. Or it's a toilet, it's pretty useful. Gotta love that little shelf behind the toilet, where I guess you hold the paper rolls. It looks like it. Still, very nice toilet. Any toilet is better than my toilet currently, which is quite unfinished. Can we get out? Is that a plant? That's supposed to be a plant. Yeah, I love this area in the remake a lot. Well, the whole house. We'll get there very soon. I mean the remake. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I saw that. I did see that. Yeah, I laughed a lot. That was a good burn. That was, that was a very solid burn. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I know what you what you're talking about. Yeah, that was a really good burn. <laughs> I didn't know the guy was famous. I thought it was just some random dude trying to provoke uh, people, a random troll. But yeah, he did have a blue check mark. That's right. Which, I guess, doesn't mean much nowadays. Why did I get in here? Where am I going to put the shotgun? Up my ass? No ink, ink, pink ribbons here. A tapestry. Nothing unusual. Oh, Carter. So, I got a, I got a Legacy of Cain itch. These, like, for, for a few days. And, oh, nice kitty. See, I guess it's, it's, it's food time. Yeah, it's food time. And, um... Hello! Welcome, welcome Raiders! Thanks for the raid, Mayo Hazard. Mayo Hazard. We're playing Biohazard with Mayo Hazard. How are you? How was your stream? Hold on a sec. Hold on a second. Well, actually, I have... I have... I have people here. <laughs> Is that Val? That's Val. Happy holidays, Mayo. Haven't talked to you in a few days. Is everything good? How are you doing? There's a big... Yeah, zombies? Oh my god, there's zombies here. Ah! Can't believe I just got here. So late, basically. Yes. Thank you, Sash. 16 hours! What are you... Did you really stream for 16 hours? Wow. I don't know. I, 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 uh, 16. That's 12 hours plus 4 hours. That's, that's, that's one whole wake day. Check out Mayo. She does, she plays uh, Resident Evil games, a lot of resistance and outbreak. Are you one zombies on the Saturn gamut? They have different grunts in, in, in the Saturn version for some reason. And it's very entertaining. We can actually bring the Windcrest right away. We'll take care of the dog. We'll get that shotgun. We'll pack... Okay, now I gotta... I gotta pay attention here. Another knife. Pistol, ammo. Shotgun, ammo. He doesn't have a bazooka. He does have the Magnum ammo. And then he has a flamethrower. That's me remembering stuff. And then we can put stuff here. I'm gonna say it like that. Yeah, this is good. 
A little swap, please. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, Saturnary one. Saturnary one. Why? What happened? Why did you have a sad start of, of the year? Oh, wow, I didn't know the rest of that story, Carter. Well, I guess justice has been served. Oh, I'm sorry, Mayo. That is sad. I'm really sorry to hear that. How are you holding up? Hmm. What do I want to do here? I got that, I got that. I'm probably going to need that. Pretty sure. Uh, I don't even know where the next desk to unlock is. I will need the lighter upstairs again. But yeah, it is. It is the Saturn version. I forgot. I gotta get used to doing to to being. I gotta get. Remember that people can't see the everything here. So yeah, it is the Sega Saturn version of RE1 on the actual Saturn that we fixed up. Well, David fixed it up. I didn't do shit. <laughs> David just brought it home one day and um, and changed the laser. So now we have two working Saturns. In case something goes awry, we can just swap the consoles. Is that guy? Oh, he's not even there. But I did want to decapitate him. Fuck. I think I'll, I'm going to do it with the shotgun. And then save the bullets for the dog. Yeah, what Carter said. Okay, now we can... Did I leave the room to pick up the shotgun? I think I have, yeah. I have left the room. That is very mature of you. If it's any consolation, you're 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 doing it the best you can do it. It's never easy. What do you mean? Gotta wait for the animation every time. It's gotta finish that. And then, oh yeah, check. Everything's the same as in, yeah, PlayStation. A little crooked. There's a whole story how the shotgun became broken in the Japanese special edition Saturn version. There's a whole story about George Trevor before, like, years before the remake. Uh, you know, gave us that story. It was in the, it was in a booklet. I think Scorpion read from it. And uh, the reason why the shotgun is broken is because George Trevor tried to take it as defense. And... Uh, the ceiling fell down, fell down and crushed it. Now, from what I understood, it didn't crush uh, George. But the shotgun le was left unusable. Now, how did it, how did, like, something that flattens make, made the, the barrel go, like, crooked? <laughs> we'll never know. Maybe if the shotgun was, whoa, shit, don't forget, there's a guy there. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's gonna bite me because I was too close. <laughs> Why did I go all the way there? There was no need for that at all. No reloads. Sir, please take a bullet. That's how I waste ammo in this game because uh, he's still alive. Because they keep, they walk another step, they'll even turn and then they'll fall down they're not totally dead that's so confusing and backwards yes exactly pro nothing okay we can at least understand what's going on here 
Okay, let's find the... Can you run? I think you can run, yeah. Well, I keep thinking all these years that if I sprint, that'll alarm them, but it won't. So we're looking for a newborn, a lively boy. No! Is this... Wait, what's the text on this one? There's a message. Give me the piece of that and I'll give you the joy of life. Yeah. I actually like the one on uh, in Director's Cut more. It's more poetic. Where's the newborn baby? Is it here? Young man. No. Where? How did I lose the baby? Is it on the other side? Baby. Infant. Okay, very close, but no. We can run. Just don't shoot. Ah, there it is. It's very obvious. Newborn baby. Switch. Ah! <laughs> I can't. <laughs> They're just... Do it again. Do it again. Come on. Come on. <laughs> that crow infant. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Move. A pop up just okay. You good pop up? Here we go. Whee! So it was. And then it goes the lively boy. Then the young man, which is here. No, it's the next one. Then the middle aged man, who's on the other side. Where there's only two of them. And then the grandpa. Gramps. Bold looking old old man. I thought as a kid it meant bold with A as in like hairless. <laughs> I was like, he doesn't look maybe he has a hat, I don't know. There's a message. Okay. And this music, it only appears here and never again. All right. Pretty good. Good kitty? Ooh, hello kitty. I guess you ate because you came back. I think she had dinner. Can you take your butt out of my face, please? That would be very lovely. Thank you. Just turn around. Yes, like that. Maybe I should have stepped out. Gotta like how he starts running before you even fire the shot. Shit, I gotta go up and he's gonna bite me in the face. There he is. Well, who's more blind, dog, you or me? How the fuck are you missing him? I'll never understand this without our aim. <laughs> Fuck, I heard that. Did it reload? Nope. Well, I gotta I gotta risk it. I said I'll risk it. No, I reset his health. You're getting a shotgun doggy. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. I, I'm pretty sure I held aim, but okay. God damn it. That's wasted five bullets. So that's at least 12 wasted bullets so far. I hope somebody picks them up. Reloads them. So we can reuse them. God damn it, doggy. You had to fuck me over, did you? No, actually, I'm gonna kill him with the... Nah. Oh, this is personal now. Okay, let's wait. That's the remake where he jumps through the foliage. He can't jump through the foliage here. 
They couldn't do that on these old consoles. Will I even hit him? That works somehow. I can't tell the depth perception. Really? I thought it was a... I'm gonna... Please, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yon's got nothing on this guy. Die, please! I mean, seriously, man. Alright. I didn't even have to do this now, but I was like, I'll make a shortcut. It took five minutes <laughs> to put the two things in the in the wall oh my okay all right chris you're supposed to be able to take take a beating or at least a few bullets Oof, a few bites i'm gonna i'm gonna risk it fuck it i don't mind starting this again next time but I don't think we'll need to. So I avoided this hallway entire time, expecting zombies to jump through the window when it's not even in this game. You gotta love that when they remake these games. I'll take that one right away. Um, you kind of, if you remembered something in a certain way, like for me at least, I played the remake m way more in the recent years, really? And uh, a lot of stuff from that version is stuck. So now I'm like, where's my lighter? Why is it not in my pocket? Stuff like that. It's the little changes that we got used to, I was saying earlier, taking for granted. Okay, I can't miss now, like the cameras, Cameras on my side. Everything's on my side. So no reds for Chris, just greens. Interesting. I wonder, can you light the boiler with him? Was the boiler ever gonna be... Was it ever imagined as part of something? So there you go, Hunt Carter. Yeah, since the mansion was built in the 50s or 60s, I don't think it was even electrified. Originally, it had maybe a, a generator or something. I don't know if the power lines ever reached our clay mountains back then. Again, talking like this is an actual place <laughs> in real history, but yeah. So it makes sense they had a um, okay, fossil fuel Okay, Alien, boiler? I'm coming. I hope your back is as red as I remember it. Hello, Teste. Welcome to the stream. Happy holidays, Teste. How are you, Teste? Wait, why are you not Phantasma? This is madness. No more herbs. I'm officer of the law. I'm confiscating this marijuana. I'm gonna uh, bring it to my boss. Yes, he needs it. No, don't come this way with that weed. There's the boiler. A rusty boiler. Nothing strange. Why don't you set fire and we'll see if it's strange. I'll be the judge of that, Chris. I think I can avoid the other dog if I'm... Wee! No, no, no. Oh, that depth perception. Tricky, tricky. Good to hear, Testy. Good to hear. Same, man, same. Very good right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wesker was just like... Wesker was... Like a son <laughs> to Spencer. I'm not gonna say anything more, but... Uh, yeah, he would have... Like, by age, he would have been... Spencer would be old enough to be his son. Because Spencer died in what? 2005, was it? Something like that. 
So what did I do so far? The only thing that's left to do is really is uh, get that key. Get the shield key. And get to uh, have Rebecca play it, I guess. Well, I could have done that in the other part of the, uh, the mansion. No, I'm gonna go to the attic and explore first. I remember the thing that I always forget to bring the lighter for. I'm bringing it this time. I hope Wesker doesn't open this chest. He's gonna be very surprised. Chris, what, what have I taught you? You're supposed to share with your superior officer. Lighter, that's right. That's nothing else left. Oh, there's a small key, that's right. Is there a desk upstairs? Or is this... Huh. I don't think there's a desk. Let's do that again, because now I lost it. Magnum, ammo, flamethrower, lighter, and then we go here. There you go. That will be enough. Together, they make ten. Being Chris and all, I will save before yawn. <laughs> I thought by the last time, like Jill's run experience with Plan 42, that was just pure luck. It made a, it made a, one of the best clips <laughs> ever, but man, it was really stressful. No, not there. It was really stressful. <laughs> Realizing in the middle of the battle, holy shit, there's no auto aim here. I don't know if I can hit it. And it's very hard to hit it because the death perception is all wrong. So I'm like shooting at the plant, but I keep missing somehow. And then that last shot was just a desperate. I was I already accepted that I'm, you know, I fucked it all I fucked it up. I I think my last save, I didn't even have a save yet until the guardhouse. Uh where am I going with this? Over here. <laughs> but it worked one one flame round was enough now Chris doesn't have flame rounds what does the Chris kill the plant with yeah we gotta do more puzzles here that's right let's start with the let's do this one should have left the knife that's right I don't need the knife I don't know why I brought the knife it's not like I'm knifing something I think I actually left it who knows? We'll find out. Alright. Again, this puzzle is... It's one of those that is way... more straightforward than this version. It's not even a puzzle, just push these things. Alright, something in display case. Showcase, I'm sorry. If you get poisoned, you're fucked. Okay. <laughs> yes. Teste, I gotta say, you made us laugh. That final episode of uh, Chrono Cross was still mentioned sometimes. <laughs> it was such a good gag you made. <laughs> Don't worry, hippie, you cried in another timeline. <laughs> in a parallel universe. <laughs> that was that was a slam dunk. zombies here? No, that's later. I should have at least... Yes, okay. I hope that's enough. I'm gonna get some pistol ammo and probably shotgun shells, because... Chris, put that cookie down! Now! <laughs> I gotta... Man, I, w I didn't practice today. I'm sorry. Whoa! Oh my god! I'm sorry. I'm not Harry Arnold. Here we go. Come on! <laughs> I gotta I gotta switch into it. Come on, kitty, move in my lap. Come on. Sit, sit tight, kitty. Okay, yeah. Did you just slap my keyboard, kitty? Here we go. Come on, open the door. You can do it. Come on now. <laughs> Come 
Come on, zombie, you need your head. Come on. <laughs> hey, hey, zombie, don't lose your head. <laughs> Arnold, can you do it? Ah. <laughs> Here we go, open the door. It's a wooden door. I've opened the wooden door before. <laughs> Put that kitty down now. <laughs> candle. We have to light the candle. A flick. <laughs> Come on, flame, illuminate for me. I just kicked the closet open. That's Chris. Chrissy. Stupid candle. I have to use my lighter on you. Stupid shelf. Move. Come on, I'm trying to pass here. Never sure if there's something there. Yellow hidden shelf. I need your goodies. Yes, shelves in the shelf. Someone trying to play with me. You think this is funny? Go open the door. Arnold Redfield in. <laughs> <laughs> Resident Terminator. <laughs> Residentator. <laughs> Does he comment on this blood? No. I love that detail, really. They made the wall bloody. <laughs> I am the Residentator. I will de zombify this mansion. He's gotta give me enough. Supplies for this, <laughs> Richard. <laughs> I, I would love to do that with like mix of Arnold's voice and, and Jill screaming, Richard, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Richard, get up. Stop fooling around, Richard. We have to kill some zombies. <laughs> Don't bite me, zombie. Arr. <laughs> Knowing Arnold, he would bite the zombie back. <laughs> you bite me, I bite you. Ah. Stupid floor making noise. <laughs> Imagine Arnold doing come on, Richard, come on. You can't die on me. I promised your wife I'd bring you home. But Arnold, uh, I I don't have a wife. Oh never mind then. Fuck you. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? What am I doing? I got lost in Arnold. <laughs> you need to be <laughs> you need to beat the poison. Come on. You can do it, Richard. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> All the training we had. We fought the, the terminators, the exterminators, and the predators for this. And you're gonna die from a snake? What are you? A pussy? Come on, get up. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Hello, Lupka, hello. <laughs> As you can see, we're having fun here. Charge! I have the gun, the shot. Oh, shit, actually, I was going the right way. God damn it, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Stupid door in my way, I will open you now. Very slowly, but now. <laughs> Hey, so I don't know if you saw that, I, I posted it in my Discord today, but ever since uh, we started the company, all these services are sending emails nonstop. And, uh, and uh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll get to that. I just gotta, I gotta focus on what I'm doing. Yeah, avoid this guy, go here. And yeah, before I continue, Lyubka, how are you guys holding up? You good? You good? <laughs> I was like, when? Okay, okay. Testy had the same same question. Um, the what was I, I? I was trying to buffer that in my head, but it failed, obviously. 
Say hi to Danny for me. Um, God damn it, it already lost. I was trying to focus on three things at once. That never works with me. I can do one thing excellent. Second thing, already flimsy. Third thing, nope. Oh, that guy's still here. All this is to get to the fucking piano. That's right. Is Rebecca still here? Man, that cutscene, I haven't laughed like that in a long time. She's gone. She said, so she asked me to come with me. I still can't get over that. She was like, uh, can I come with you? I was like, yeah. <laughs> and she says, I'll be there next week. Well, fuck you, Rebecca. <laughs> that's all. You gotta kill the snake with the shotgun. I guess uh, if that's what we're doing, I, that's what we're doing. There's no going back now. Ladder can go. Suncrest can go as well. So, geez, so it's it should go right on right above the small key and this can go right below the small key and then i'll bring some help i think two will do well not, not yet actually we still need uh, yeah we still need to do, do the whole thing key thing so uh 40 shells 40 shells that's enough we've got some bullets i just need to go bring rebecca i need one two inventory slots you know i'll finish this then i'll see because with chris's six slots like did you even bring pockets man you just go out into the force butt naked they made you put on pants Ooh. too bad that guy always resets otherwise he would have had me The Dua. Dua. Damn, now Arnold's stuck in my head. I didn't think about it in nine days since we last streamed, but here we are now. Arnold's in the air. <laughs> no, I mean, Chris, I expected, but I totally forgot about Rebecca's cutscene here. And years later now, knowing RE0 so well and knowing Rebecca in that game, it's so weird, like, how she is introduced here first of all i think G gamut you were not you were not there but i'll i'll go through it again because it was too much first of all they just met each other like how the fuck did you do that star's office is it's not that big man it's you know it's 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 an office you can see each other how was she working there in a team there's only two teams in that office and you never met each other it's like I think there's 10 people together. Let's check it. Actually, I'm going to check it now. Because <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I said I will read from this manual. From the Saturn manual. It's just crazy <laughs> how how they change some things. But uh, uh, English, Deutsch, Francais. Here we go. <laughs> Where is it? They have all the... Because I don't want to count them. So, what was it? <laughs> no, not here. It's It's the Japanese manual that shows them, right? The stars team. Yeah. So I, can, I guess I can count them from my, from like with my head. <laughs> so we have Chris, Jill, we have Wesker, we have Barry Burton, Joseph Frost, Richard Aiken, uh, Enrico Marini, Rebecca Chambers, uh, the guy who dies, the, the chopper pilot, Kenneth, K Kevin, Kevin. There's Kenneth Sullivan, Forrest Bayer, uh, are we missing someone? Edward? Edward? The guy who dies in zero? So that's about... Was it seven or twelve people? Let's say twelve people. Still, it's not fifty people. You should... You should know each other. <laughs> and that reaction... Ah, ah, I don't know. I can't repeat the way I heard that from YouTube videos. But like I said, I haven't played the... Oh, you don't even open it. I haven't played the, <laughs> the original Chris in at least 17 years. So... Let's <laughs> that cutscene was too much. And then at the end of it all, let like let's ignore all that. At the end of it all, she's like, You want me to go with you? And I I knew it. I knew she was not gonna come with me because they never did in these old games. It was always let's split up, but I just wanted to see what's gonna happen. She's like, I gotta prepare something, meet you in a week. She didn't say a week, but she might might as well have. 
Chris, unfortunately, can't read music. Well, it sucks to be you. <laughs> You're no Billy. I mean, I know you can't read music, but you can do the scales at least, right? It's me, Chris. <laughs> Is that you, Rebecca? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. I remember this one. Ah, it's the Moonlight Sonata. I love this Can voice of Rebecca. Wait, it just hit me. So, she... She, she can't play the piano in Resident Evil Zero. Billy has to do it. Which was the first time I played it. I was like, what? A guy is playing a piano? And a girl can't do it? But then, here, I guess Billy taught her to play piano while they were fighting uh, church bats. <laughs> I love these games, man. But this is fun. No, she's Wait, not there yet. What is that? The fuck is that, Rebecca? My interpretation is off a little. Chris, may I practice for a while? No, you can't practice. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. See? So I can't Just take the key. I should have done this earlier. Play. I totally forgot about this part. So All right. Can I just go out and go back in? Will that work? Or just watch her practice? Maybe she'll have a eureka moment. No, Rebecca's not playing the piano. That's not playing the piano. That's... Playing the piano sounds good. This is more like... She's feeling the piano. <laughs> yeah. It's so... I can't. This is good. This is really good. Uh, thank you for bringing... Good... Uh, good mood... Into this... The, the start of this week game. <laughs> That's what we needed. I remember now why I know these... I know these... Uh, uh, I know these um, lines from Resident Hazard parody. That's right. She's still proud. So what, does hap what has to happen for her to do this right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Secret rooms that respond to certain frequencies. I guess I'll just run a little around. I'm 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 guessing it need you need to some time needs to pass for her to do this properly. Okay, this should be good. Yeah. The way he runs it it is different than the way Jill runs. I was commenting a little earlier. Somehow he throws himself like he's he's on a marathon or something. He is on a marathon, Resident Evil marathon, but that's not that kind of marathon. Alright guys, I'm gonna while she practices, I'm just gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more bio evil on the Sega Saturn. A tick tock, tick tock. Okay. Do you think she's practiced enough? Or, uh, or should we wait more? <laughs> At this point, it's not... It, only the mansion is with the zone. This is where the outbreak started, Lupka. So, <laughs> if it's the world, they would probably play something shorter. But since it's just the mansion, we can do Moonlight Sonata. You done? Oh shit, so when can I enter? I need that to get to the boss. It is a lot different than Jill's playthrough. In these small details. Seriously, Rebecca? I should have brought her there earlier, but I completely forgot that she has to practice. So I guess I just run around the house now, waste time. We'll know that for the next time. Which makes me wonder, I don't remember that she practice. Oh, she does practice in the remake, and you can hear her through the walls, that's right. You can hear her when you're outside the house, uh, the, the room. We'll need that crest, which I'm gonna nab right now, otherwise I'll just forget. I'm sorry, emblem. 
Is that supposed to be Spencer Family Insignia? Nah. Just a generic. There's a scratch. Like the whole thing is a scratch. <laughs> it's rendered at 240 pixels height. It can't be anything more than a scratch. Hey, Resident Evil. You brought so much joy into my life. I don't know where to go. I'm just gonna make a circle around. Up, up. I'm really missing that door in the center that leads to the graveyard. That was actually gonna be in, that was supposed to be in the original, in this version. But they cut down the whole George Trevor, Lisa Trevor storyline to get the game out. And because of technical limitations, they were already uh, short on space. Even on one disc, one CD. Compared to, you know, cartridges. Because it, it was supposed to be... It was made for the Super Famicom, Super Nintendo originally, wasn't it? Okay, let's see Rebecca while I was running around. Maybe I'm just giving her a beat now. Dooch, 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 dooch. <laughs> the beat boots. That fifth step. Never seen, but always missed. That run is so good. <clears throat> well, Sasha already banned the uh, reloads, so by the end of the game, I'll just throw cutlery at them. <laughs> Zombie, think fast! Oh, <laughs> stab him with the with the fork in the eye. Okay, you can hear it. You can actually hear it. Yeah. Chris! Chris! Daddy, daddy, I did it! You like it? <laughs> I haven't heard it yet, but please do continue. He's, he's playing at two times tempo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what do I do? Fly? <laughs> yes. Oh, that was great. Promotion. Cupcake. Come. What is that? It's a secret passage, Rebecca. Chris, be careful. I don't know. I don't know what's back there. I can't see the end of this hallway. It's pretty deep. I'm gonna get lost, Rebecca. I'm gonna need some help. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. I would expect to hear from her. Nope. She's like, fuck him. By the time I open this, she's already gone. Talking to Wesker. Uh, Chris Redfield, also gone. Thanks, love, buddy. by the way, for the hydrate. I'm okay, Rebecca. Don't worry about me. She's just... She's frozen. Yeah, she'll, she'll reset in a few minutes. Let's just leave her. Think about that.
It was Carter that wanted... I'm pretty sure that was Carter. Was it? <laughs> Wait, we got the... Mr. Fast is already there. Mr. Fast! He's never gonna <laughs> come back. What do you want? What do you want? What? I... I... She wants me to to roll on the floor with her. All right, let's solve that puzzle. All right. Yes, kid. This time without the butt in the face, and I'll be very happy. Mara. Mara. <laughs> yes, I will take the mansion key. Kitty, your tail is in my face again. Please sit down. Yes, there you go. You can do it. Oh, I wonder what that key does. It looks like it opens doors or something. Carving of a turkey. Do what? <laughs> Solve the puzzle or or, or flip it, flip it around? <laughs> How? What does that look like in real life? Like they they, they take the key and like, huh? Ah, <laughs> just the way it's because of the way it's presented. Our imaginations should fill the blanks. I'm gonna take care of that guy because I know there's something there I want before we go to the boss. Solve the puzzle, yeah. <laughs> yeah, how would that work? Who resets the puzzles? I mean, we know from the story, but. Uh, I know uh, from the story we do, but wait, that guy's still there. We gotta take care of that guy. Hello, guy. Yeah, that's what I need. Fuck, I didn't bring the small key. Did I? Nah. Oh, no, that's the other key. Okay, okay. So on my way out of the house, I'll just bring the small key. Yeah, we did. I mean, I played, I played Jill mostly. I only played Chris twice, Lubka, and I don't think you were there for Chris playthroughs. I really didn't enjoy playing Chris until today, just because <laughs> we've seen some funny shit. Oh shit, he's already at my foot. I think there's either that or a clip in that drawer that was locked. That's what I want. That's a sad scene. You good, sir? We don't have... Yeah, I didn't load the jail save, so we don't have the key for this room. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's the same game. So basically, I don't know if you understood what we're, uh, what I'm doing. I I beat the game as Jill, but I forgot on the stream to play as Chris, and I never streamed Chris playthrough. I don't like playing Chris because of these six inventory slots compared to Jill's eight. He can take a lot more damage, visibly more damage, but he doesn't have a lockpick, so you gotta collect those small keys to unlock the desks, which I guess the keys break every time you use them, and. Um, you have two less inventory sp uh, space, so it shows there is a difference. Yeah, I gotta go here. I wanna save. Normally with Jill, I don't need to save until the, the end or further, but with Chris, there's more zombies, so you have too much. Huh? 
I don't know what she's, she's, she's in the mood, in a good mood, but still in the mood. I was gonna check if there's a clip here after all, which I am very sure there isn't, yeah. <laughs> Sasha, Sasha said something, I think she's talking to my nephew. <laughs> Scary door. Chris, Chris, who else? Chris Wesker. Actually, all of them have the stars insignia on their shoulders. Because I remember it was, I think I read on Wiki or somewhere. I was wondering why they don't have a uniform. You know, as a uniform, everybody has the same. They didn't have. They didn't. Because the stars was a new force when it was established. It was established just months prior, um, or maybe a year or so. I think it was months prior. Uh, they never agreed on the uniform before the city was taken down, before all this happened. So, do we have less ink ribbons with Chris, too? That would be silly, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'll use these first. I think they'll be enough. I'm gonna need that. That's about it. The two health items and hope for the best. I can bring a third one after I save. Will I make a new save, I guess? Yeah, I'll make a new save. Gotta love Jill has zero saves. That's a good game clear file, in case you're wondering. That didn't have to go there. Is it gonna be one, two, three, four mixed herbs? Let's say five if we can I think I'll be okay even if I bring three. But there's no need really. Alrighty, testing. Here we go. Charge. Man, these uh, PS1 and Saturn uh, CD drives were slow to load so long. A bitmap or JPEG <laughs> with some collision data. Hello, Mammoth. How are you doing, Mammoth? <laughs> it depends where. It's set over here. We got the other one. Yeah, we did. All right. Oh, nice. What's a what's a pokesat? It, it sounds like you're saying poke clock in Serbian. We do have it. Yes, shield key. Okay, I just saved, so I don't care. I'm not I'm not afraid of you, snake. You played Outbreak today? Why do I do that to myself? Why do I look at the lights? Don't look at the lights. That hurts every time. Yeah, I told you it was Carter. Uh, Carter asked for the redeems and everything. I was like, why are you testing Testa? Yeah. <laughs> Snake. Snake. <laughs> Sean Connery on the light with Solid Snake. Okay, let's try this. How many? I have four. 
So four, mm. then reload. Try to count it. It's shotgun, so... If it bleeds, we can kill it. Do you bleed? Oh my god, really? It's a shotgun! You said it's a shotgun, it's not a pistol! It bleeds. It's green, but it bleeds. This is a very bad angle. Fuck you! Am I, am I good? Shit, I'm not good. Yeah, okay, we'll do this again. Without reload, it's gonna be really hard, but I'll try. Nope. No, you can't do it without reload. Maybe I can. Actually, I'm gonna try. I did you just say. I'm very curious if you can do this. Ah! There's no room to reload from this ship. Can I stop and reload without opening the menu, ma'am? I want to, I'm trying to make an obstacle for it. When did you reload, Chris? When the fuck did you reload? You gone? I think I took the ammo. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I gotta redo this. Gentleman's reset. After it kills me, of course. It doesn't react to the shotgun like it reacts to the bazooka. No, let me see that. It actually swallows him. Show it so I can see it, game. Oh, that was lame. It can swallow you. I thought it just like slashes you and you fall down. Ah, okay, 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 Rupka. I do that all the time, sis. With the with the, well, I see someone like who uses red color, or whatever color of the on the on the chat, and when someone else has that color, I instantly talk to the previous person. <laughs> hello, hello, Eva, Eva Max. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow as well. Appreciate it. Uh, start. So what, what did I say? So right now A, A is confirmed and once the game starts it's B or no, it's B now. <laughs> Bye Chris, indeed. We're doing good over here, Eva. This is what what did I say? This is a third third playthrough in my life of Chris's story. So it's kind of like a whole new scenario. I'm sorry, Chris's, Chris's quest. Ah, I see what you did there, Carter. <laughs> I'm not gonna bring the third one, so I know what happens. It doesn't, it doesn't get, which makes total sense, right? <laughs> it doesn't react to the bazooka, to the shotgun, the same as bazooka. Nah, I'll bring another one. Don't be cheap. Bring this one. There you go. Because th there's nothing there but shells and what we need, the key item. <laughs> Man, you're supposed to have more HP. I, I swear he dies, high, died faster than Jill. Of course I don't know he can swallow you. You, it's very hard to die as Jill when you have the bazooka in a snake's face. Explosive or acid, doesn't matter. But shotgun, man. I do remember, that's the remake, right? Where Richie drops the combat shotgun, yeah. Too bad he didn't have it with him. Double test. So you had green, no purple. Double the test, double the test day. No, one test day is enough. Short-sighted is... You can see closer, easier than further, and, you know, the, I mean nearsighted, nearsighted, it's called nearsighted, and uh, I don't know what's the opposite called in English, longsighted? Oh yeah, it's purple. Well, it it's purple here in slobs, I don't know what it's like on Twitch. 
There were herbs there. I could have picked up those herbs. We'll take them on the way back. If there's a way back. Now, I don't remember what happens. Because there's no barrier, right? When he gets poisoned. So I'm just going to guess that Rebecca's going to... Take care of his wounds or something. She did ma say she's making something. I, there's not an outbreak. <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing she saw Richard down there and then just made to make an antidote. Oh, it is gray. Okay. Over here, it's purple for me. Yeah. Both of you are the same color. Probably because Slobs doesn't, maybe doesn't use all the colors or maybe they intentionally skip gray. So where's the good angle? I gotta find a place where it can't damage me. There's no auto-aim, which makes it a lot harder. I'm just gonna guess here, maybe? Books and get don't do that. Keep pressing B for some reason, okay? None of these angles are good, but if anything, I would take it all the way to the corner, I guess, and just shoot from here. Not many places it can go to. Woo! Oh no, it's the... Oh, Sock Puppet Snake attack me. Can I take one more bite? It, I, I see what happened there before. It was gonna eat me. But then... But then I healed. That's why it, it went... Chris was like... I've never seen that animation. <laughs> How the fuck did that miss? And is it gonna eat me? Yep, it would have eaten me. Yeah, that animation, that, that's what it means. You going? Oh, that was way easier. So that's all I had to do, quickly now, before I die of poison. Here we go. Shells. Who would have thought snakes can tell, take more shotgun shells than grenade rounds? <laughs> Gigantic snakes. They're supposed to be an anaconda or something, right? Yeah, red red suits you. I don't know why. Maybe because I... Maybe because... <laughs> maybe because I'm used to seeing that color for you. But yeah, it really suits you. I get why they did that uh, with people being able to choose choose their color for the text. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Now, <laughs> before I, I didn't know why they do that. Like, why is not every, everyone's text the same? Okay, here we go. Oh no. Chris! Am I poisoned? Damn it, give me serum. You just not even please? I'm sure the serum must be there. I'll be right back. Wait, am I playing Rebecca now? Wait, I have faint memories of playing Rebecca. Am I playing... I think I'm playing Rebecca. Before Resident Evil Zero. Man, why did I... Give me serum. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Cool! Wow, I missed out a lot. Yeah, that's the same same room. Well, what were you f fixing there? You're gonna comment on Richard? Will Chris die if I take too long? So many questions. Do I want to find everything out? Serum. <laughs> Look at that. Wait, wait a minute. What happens if I take this with Rebecca? I'm gonna check. I'm taking this one of them. It's fucking Rebecca. How did I forget this? You can play as Rebecca. What does she have? Nothing. Well, Chris is dying. I'm going to be like, oh, it's Rebecca. Would she not have the map if I didn't? Yep. Yep. The same rooms are marked. So whatever he did, it translates to her. Huh. That's. It would be a cool touch if you could see what she already learned. 
Yar, Rebecca. <laughs> Yar, give me serum. <laughs> Shiver me timbers, that <laughs> that that viper got me good. Yar. Okay, we're going into Chrono Cross territory now with captains and vipers. It's so weird. I was a little reluctant to even do the Chris run once I forgot. Once I remembered, I forgot to do it. But then I thought, okay, I remember I had fun doing it in remake. So it can't be that bad here. And look, it, it's not that bad. It actually was way more entertaining than Jill Run somehow. What's her HP? I gotta check that later on Wiki. Because in these early games, they had two digit numbers. Like Chris and Jill had like 50 and 30 health, something like that. Something very low numbers. Every, each, every damage was like 5, 10, 15. But then I think from zero, because RE1 Remake still has two digit numbers, I think the zero was the first one to have triple digit numbers. And then Outbreak took it to another territory. Hold on. With uh, good, okay. But that guy's still there. Nobody likes him. <laughs> There's always one zombie, at least, that's just lonesome in a corner. Yeah, Outbreak takes it like 3,000, 4,500. That door has... What does the Outbreak scenario door have on uh, on the very hard? It's something like 15,000. The serum. Vitamins and serums. <laughs> oh, God, it's gonna stick, is it? Only one dose is left. Huh. Here we go. Right, Chris, hold on. <laughs> See? Rum! <laughs> and I'm drinking mutagen here. Oh god. I only have one hand. This is gonna be woohoo! Okay. Can't run with one hand. Mutation, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Good morning, I guess. And we're doing that, are we? <laughs> Everything I say, huh? Is that right, Kitty? Okay. I have questions, actually. How do you sing questions? How much AP does a Rebecca have? Good afternoon. It is new afternoon. It is no. It's it's new. It, it is afternoon. You're right. You're right. You can look at the clock. How much HP do you have? Shay, give her a bite. Just a nibble. Nah. We have to save Chrissy. Chrissy, here I come. Oh, Chrissy. Wait for me, I bring you the serum. It's a serum, Chrissy. You know what would, what would the ultimate challenge be? Singing Arnold. Come out when you do open up. <laughs> I'm trying to save Chrissy here. Yeah. Come out. <laughs> If I could turn back, no. No, that, that requires practice. My throat is gonna kill me. <laughs> I got your weed, Richard. Richard! Here I come, Chrissy, with the serum. I can't. Like, her voice here, I love it. Just love it. I totally forgot about all these things. Here we go, Chrissy. Here's the serum. Fuck, he's dead. Never mind. I'll I'll just go home. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> you were bitten by a poisonous snake. Are you okay? Snake. Ah, 
My head is killing me. I think you will be all right because I gave you a shot. But please be careful. You saved my life. I owe you one. And that's it. Fuck you. <laughs> zdravo, Natsu. Zdravo. Zdravo, srce, Oikino. Rebecca, you brought so much joy into this stream. <laughs> I honestly thought, so here we go. Yeah, I forgot about Singmo. Sorry, this is, there's a lot of new stuff here for me. Not new, but as if it is. So, uh, <laughs> where's the weed, though? So if she takes it, it's gone, okay? Another thing. <laughs> I can't, when she was, I gotta clip that, man. <laughs> You want me to come with you? Yes. I'll see you later. <laughs> Gold mine. I'm glad. Like I said, I was I was uh I was thinking whether even to do a Chris run, but this is a gold mine. Like if I missed this, if I found out I missed this, I would have been very sad. Very sad. Still, it I enjoy playing Jill because of the inventory and the uh, bazooka and Berry and lockpick and all that stuff, but man, this you don't make this shit up. <laughs> I still hear her voice in my head. Here I go, Albert Vesker. I am going to save you. Should we make uh, Chris into a Serbian folk singer? Oh, Vesker, my chief. I will. No, I can't do Serbian folk in English. It's just I can't even do my. Let's try in Serbian. Oh, Veskiru, oh, Shefu moj, zašto si me ostavio? Why does it work in Serbian but not in English? I don't get it. I do not get it. <laughs> oh, Veskiru. It's, it sucks because you guys can't understand, but if I try to do it in English, let's try. Oh, Vesker, why did you leave? No, it just sounds like a drunken Russian trying to sing in English. Not the effect I have in mind. <laughs> Let's take two greener herbs. Mixing weed, that's my job. Will you mix the herbs? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> I gotta practice that. I really want to practice singing Serbian folk with uh, <laughs> in English, because that would be that would be really funny. <laughs> Oh, Albert Veskiru, chef moj zlatni, gdje si ošao u ponoći, meč kučić je ti. See, that's fucking gold mine. I just, I can't do it in English. <laughs> like, true Serbian folk music can be very nice. But what came in the 90s, known as turbo folk, when they added electronic instruments to folk music that used accordion and... Uh, what else do we have? Gusla. I don't even know the English word for gusla. But like, <laughs> it used traditional instruments and then they, they add to that. <laughs> it's, it's concerning. I should have brought... Man, do I have the pistol? I'm, I'll go back. Check. Shit, I can't go out with just a shotgun. Kitty, I have to move my legs. I'm sorry. This is painful. It's already painful that we have Serbian folk in the Resident Evil stream, but now I have a cat that wants me to keep my legs together so I can be a good bed. But I can't do that, kitty. Bravo, Mats. Bravo. Bravo. She's like, let me sleep. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'll, I'll go to the guard house. That'll be enough for today. <laughs> we got to save something for episode two, guys. Can't do it all tonight. <laughs> can't wait to see more Rebecca, honestly. Pure gold. Oh, Veskiru Shefe Moi Zlatni Kutsiosho Shumu. You agree, Kitty? Kitty doesn't like that. <laughs> no, she's just sleepy. Come on, we gotta get serious. Mutation doesn't understand Serbian. 
I have a Beretta and a clip. Cool. So we gotta do this properly. Let's see, Beretta, clip, shotgun, shells, sun crest, or moon crest. Fire, water, snow, and rain. <laughs> <laughs> Salah didn't like that, yep. <laughs> oh god. I wonder what it's like, like, you imagine randomly coming up to the stream, just like, I'm, I'm laughing with myself here, there's nothing happening. <laughs> Weird wailing sounds are coming. <laughs> You don't, you don't really enjoy, sh wait, do you, okay, maybe you enjoy Shaban Shalic, I don't know, I thought you're teasing, but now when I think about it, why not, people like Shaban Shalic. Fun fact, so Shaban Shalic was a big actual folk, so not turbo folk, folk singer, at least, well, they all became turbo folk at one point, but, um, so for any kind of like, I don't know what you call that, like small town, village, uncultured behavior, you call that person a shaban. <laughs> just, no, there's nothing wrong. I know, he has some good songs. I'm just not a fan of, of our folk. Actually, I like... <laughs> amazing that I like American folk music more than, uh, <laughs> than, than Serbian folk music. It just speaks more to my heart. But I did learn to play accordion as a kid. I can still play, actually. My, my best friend recently made me play because he didn't believe me. <laughs> I can do it. But yeah... There are some really nice songs, and we can play a lot of good things with the accordion, but... Uh, wait, I saw something there. Yeah, there's... Is that on the barrel? That's something on the barrel? Oh, look at that, there is something on the barrel. Oh, would you look at that? It's a smoky! There was a desk that we didn't unlock that I forgot. Let's go do that as well. Kill the dogs first. Yeah, let's kill the dogs. Bring those herbs inside. I gotta strategize now with six inventory slots. Yeah, Turbo Folk. I'm not a fan of like regular folk as well. There are some, uh, way a few songs I like. And they're, they're always sad. I don't know. Serbian Folk is always sad to me. Turbo or the other kind. You think I can hit it from here? What, two more bullets left? Now shotgun, and it'll get them both, I think. Right on time, too. Dude! Please don't, dude. Fuck, I'll try a live reload. I have herbs, I can fuck around. Why are you alive? How the fuck did that not shoot? How the fuck did that shoot? Oh, there's three of them, that's why. Down, boy. Down, boy. I just so Huh. I always knew the shells fly out, but I just noticed the sound. Amazing. Look at Chris. His power is he can take... A dog bite in the face and stay fine. That's that's a really cool power. Imagine having that superpower. Oh, just a scratch. It is but a scratch wound. I do want the crank to move the thing as well and the map. Okay, I'm remembering. I mean, from Jill from the Jill game, I'm remembering what to do in this one. Why do you have a map of your own garden? I mean, I get to the house, you have the plan for, you know... You gotta have that legally when you're building a house and everything. But how, why the fuck do you have a map of your own garden? Did you get lost in your garden, Spencer? He is an old man. Even... Yeah, by 98 he was very old. He's from like... 20s? 30s? Very old. <laughs> so... It's possible, I guess, you get... Lose yourself in your own garden. Between Sadler and Spencer? <laughs> Oswald E. Spencer. That's uh, 
that's the owner of Umbrella, but uh, whose house this is and everything. And originally, in the original game, um, he was, uh, there was, in this game, the original Resident Evil 1, there was supposed to be a backstory, but uh, they didn't include it. It was cut from the game because the, they, they had to get the game ready, finish it. And there were also technical limitations on the on these old consoles to do some of the things. So they they did they did reintroduce him in uh, in RE One remake. Actually, in Code Veronica already we hear about the Umbrella's founders, three very rich men. And then in Resident Evil Five we actually see Spencer for the first time for about two minutes, but still we see him. So we're going to use the crank, crank it up. I'm just gonna get it re everything ready for the next time. <laughs> and yeah, Spencer is he's a big deal in our universe, but wasn't almost mentioned. I think it was he wasn't mentioned at all until Code Veronica. But anyway, sometime in the 50s, I used to know even like the exact year when. Here we go, dithering Gerza. What I was talking about. See how the water is kind of like checkered. See that. This is a good, yeah, you can see it. It's pretty visible. So that's how Saturn faked transparency. Mega Drive did the same. Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis. A square hole. This is square hole. Oh, that's, that's adorable. Yeah, when you shoot your gun, that's right, bravo. That's why I was surprised that the bars are actually transparent. I don't know what, maybe it's the other, because Saturn has two CPUs. And I think uh, it's possible that they did some trick fuckery to make it look transparent. I'm not talking about the FMVs, of course. Those are pre-rendered. I'm talking about, you know, in-game graphics. Oh, it's the snake pool. Snake! Where we actually saw them look like snakes for the first time. The water is running down the opposite side. It sounds like the way Chris would say it. So now that we got everything, do I need to bring something there? Can I just like blindly run over there and hope for the best? You bet your ass I can. Oh, no, wait, I wanted to open that. Yeah, I want to open it before the hunters come. So no, not now. Man, I love this uh, background noise. Crickets and uh, dogs just basking in the moonlight. Eating people's faces off. Unless you're Chris, of course. He's got a sturdy face. Sturdier than his shoulder. Alright. Thank you for the fade out. Some doors don't fade out. And some do. Something I noticed in... Uh, in Outbreak File 1, in the Hive scenario, when you're in the, what is it called, the examination room? Was it? Or which room was it? Where there's a zombie that can pull you out, out through the window. Uh, where you find the B1F card. There, the door that leads to the locker room doesn't have a fade out. And it's so... It's very noticeable when all the other doors in the game do have fade out. I love this one, Yubka. They changed it in the remake because everything, you'll see, I, you've never seen the Resident Evil 1 remake. So I can't wait to play that on the actual GameCube. <laughs> but uh, the game, like you wouldn't recognize the games. And that was made only six years after this one. So this is 1996, that was 2002. But then after that, when you see, I think you saw when Dirty played, the Resident Evil 2 was what, 97? But then the remake was 2019. A whole new generation, different game. <laughs> it's not the same game. Where was that desk that I saw? I think it was, yeah, it was there in the art room. You know, that, that run deserves deserve it, deserves a trophy or like, not an Oscar, but it is acting. It can be an Oscar. Just like Kevin's, uh, <laughs> Kevin's monologue, like a radio. That's not mal. I guess it's a monologue because nobody answers, nobody can hear him. But yeah, Kevin and the uh, Kevin on the walkie-talkie at the start of Hellfire. <laughs> what? <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I 
No, don't push it. <laughs> Just a bit more. It will be outside. It will be outside in no time. Gosh, kitty. Damn. She's calmed down a lot. Ew, abstract art. That's a nice sofa. Can I have the sofa, Mr. Spencer? The desk is locked. Will you use the small... Actually, no, I haven't checked the small keys. That's not even the one I picked up. That's funny. Check. A desk key. Yeah, it's just for the desk and apparently just destroys itself once you use it. Can you use it? Use it? Let me try that, actually. I don't think you can do that with the keys in RE1, but nope. Can't use it here. <laughs> oh, now you say desk key and not small key. Okay. So much stuff just lost in time. You have used the desk key. Shit, with Jill, I would run in there now with three clips and well, about the same amount of shells and uh, at least six explosive rounds in the grain launcher. With Chris, it's just your gun and your shotgun. You and your Johnson. Let's -a go. Shit, it's already 9.20. Wow. Time flies when you're playing <laughs> Chris scenario. When you're listening to Rebecca. <laughs> I gotta clip that. Right after this, please remember me, clip Rebecca, <laughs> saying she'll be back. <laughs> I mean, asking to to go together. So what was the point of that? What if I said no? Does anybody know? I'm really curious. What would happen if I said no? It's like Jill and Barry at the end. But there, it's at least he actually, you know, moves two rooms with her before leaving. But Rebecca's like... I'll be back and nothing happened. I haven't seen her. Maybe th there was the piano thing. Would she play the piano if I haven't called her? Sky! Happy holiday, Skylands. Good to see you, buddy. How's life treating you? How's life back in Asia? I'll be back. <laughs> All right, what am I doing? I'm, uh... I forgot what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going... We're raiding the guardhouse. Guard, guardhouse, guard. Uh, that's the difference. Really? I'm a Chris Scenario noob, Sky, by the way. This is my third time in 23 years. Of playing this game, third time playing Chris scenario in this, and it'll be the third time playing uh, it on the remake as well. I only played it twice in the original and twice in remake. And last time I played this with Chris was 2004 PC version when I got it from someone in school. So yeah, I didn't know those things. And it's good to have someone who knows, because <laughs> it really gets confusing with some of the things they say that don't make sense. We don't need that. It's just a waste to even carry it. So here. And here. All right. All right. <laughs> so that's... Should I even... Fuck it, I'll go there. I'm not even going to save. I didn't have to do that, but... Leave, leave all of this. Leave the weed for Wesker. He'll need it. His nerves are shot. Shotgun on the Cerberi. That's such a waste. I'm probably gonna run around them. I think I can do that. Especially since I can... My superpower is taking more dogs bite into the face. So it evens out. 426. Yeah, okay. So six... Seven hours ahead of me. That's weird. Usually people are seven hours behind me. Like in a... I'm talking about US Central, but seven hours ahead, that's that's weird from my perspective. <laughs> Why did you wake up at 4 a.m. though? Oh, 
Okay, okay. Did you are are how good are you with the Chris scenarios, guy? We. I look at the phone every time when it vibrates, like I want to say silent. Really nothing here. Maybe it'll be there. Maybe someone will leave some supplies. Once. Okay, we're about the same then. <laughs> I finished it twice. 17 years ago, you finished it once. It's about the same. I think you're better than me, actually. <laughs> with me In regards to memory of this. Uh, <laughs> of what to do. Do I have the room for this? Yes, I did leave the room. I'm gonna be... The opposite of frugal. I'm gonna be wasteful and actually take the one of these. There you go. Because six inventory slots. Where are your pockets, Chris? Where is the not even the backpack, fanny pack, fucking pockets, just pockets, <laughs> regular. Can I put? I, okay, I don't. I can't put a shotgun in my pockets, but I, I'm pretty sure I can put six keys or something like that. Jeez, I guess they wanted to like be good to even it out. So shotgun and <laughs> shotgun and uh, and what is it called the let's say key not even key ring <laughs> key takes the same place well not the plastic bag I mean um, let's be fair to him he's a special force operative that went on a mission to f investigate some murders in the mountains the and, you know, they were stranded, so he didn't bring any plastic bags. But as an officer of the law, he should have pockets in his uniform, which they don't have. Stars don't have the uniform yet. They were going to choose a design, but they never got to. So I guess that's the issue. But then again, we have Kevin there with only four slots. Five, if you count his pistol, which is attached to his body. Snake! The snakes! Oh my god, it's the snake! I wasn't sure if there's gonna be any snakes, but there are snakes! Oh my god, snakes! Oh. This perspective always makes it seem like the elevator keeps going down, but you're left dangling in the air. <laughs> oh shit, this would be hard without seeing. Fuck you all. Oh, is that an herb? There's not an herb. Fuck you. Wow, they're not even aggressive. Okay, they gotta see me, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I guess th there was there were no bags in Spencer's mansion, just a lot of rooms and only two beds. Oh, there's more dogs here, yeah. So, yeah, you don't have a radio with Chris either. So many things are different. Oh, doggy. Wait, 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 wait. How the fuck did that miss? I'm, s I'm fucked. Oh, fuck you. Just ignore them. This is just a waste of time trying to fight them even without the auto aim. Like, how did it pass the testing? <laughs> they they had to get the, the Japanese version, you know, like... Because they get the original version, they translate it and they adjust it. Somebody had to play it and be like, you know what, this is too easy with the auto aim. Let's just make the characters blind, deaf, cut their arms off, and then the difficulty will be just right. Okay, here we are. We were arrived. What, what's the first thing we do when we arrive to the guardhouse? We play with art, of course. This is a cultured house, please. <laughs> it is a hot doggity, a very annoying one. There are no problem with auto aim, and I would say Beretta is better. For some reason, I like, I like, I don't have preference in shooting uh, zombified uh, Dobermans, but uh, in this game, at least, and in RE2, 
Whoa, is it gonna be okay? I think, did I do it right? We'll see. Ah, it'll be okay. There you go. I guess that counts. We don't need all these uh, blue herbs, so I'm gonna play differently than I usually do. Still snooping, checking things, but just not doing... Not picking up whatever is unnecessary. There's really no point. Like that spray there. We don't need that. But if, if there's shells down there, or a clip, we do need that. Fucking just eat those herbs. There's plenty of them. It takes so much to even get to yellow after two bites. Jill would be like orange now. Nah, it'll be fine. Just mix those two as well. I read, will you mix the berries? <laughs> I'll pack you up as well, like that, like so, and like so, and take the Beretta, 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 see no fade out, well it's gonna be a good start if nothing else, any ink, no ink ribbon is gonna be in the other, yeah I know what I'm gonna pack so I don't forget next time, that little desk key is going to be useful. Okay. And then ink ribbon to save. Did I? Yeah, I think I already... I did save. It's weird. This is usually when we make the first save. Pink ribbon. Okay. Well, that was something, folks. That was really <laughs> way better than I expected, honestly. Rebecca helped. You don't have to self-flagellate with the shotgun, man. Look at that. Modern self-flagellation, I guess. Let's see who can read. <laughs> Three and a half hours just whoo, flew by. Where are you, Twitch? Twitcheroni. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks Mayo and Wesky for the raids. <laughs> for the, all the laughter, people. <laughs> this is not as... This is not as fun... When you're... Uh, when you're doing it <laughs> solo. Here we go. Doctor is playing Resident Evil 2. Perfect segue. Fucking perfect. From Resident Evil 1. Resident Evil 2 original. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Go. you. Yeah, we gotta visit Doc. All right, so tomorrow, if I remember the schedule, we're Bye. just doing Resident Evil this week. Bye. Maybe a Sea of Thieves. And, uh, oh, so Resident Evil 1, a bit more of that. Then we have Resident Evil Code Veronica Thursday and Friday, at least. Something like that. Keep an eye on the schedule. I'll update it. Thanks again. And say hi to the Doc. Bye, indeed. <laughs>